<coughs> hello, hello. We are back with Disco Elysium, evidently. And we are hoping to make some progress today. Well, at least I'm hoping to make some progress today. Also, it's been a while, so I'm not 100% sure where we were last time. Aside from, yes, this guy. I'm trying to sort out this guy. Um, so let's see. We're on Tuesday. We've got to get through that guy. And I kept failing. Which was quite saddening, honestly. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Find a way in and see what's hidden. Uh, oh yeah, we haven't done this yet. Uh, okay, what was the body on Iceberg Fridge? Perception Legendary. So good, does it? We've got a sleeping dock worker. What's this? Composure. There's no one there. Wooded door. Oh no, the barbell. <laughs> Probably not going to do that one, I don't think. Titus is this who we're dealing with. I can't remember what he wants me to do or doesn't. Oh, this guy is. Let's see. The unpromising raised pupil returns. Locked. Ah, physical instrument. That's what we need. Measurehead, that's his name. Okay, so we've got to figure out what we're doing. What do you mean it's locked? It's so rude. All I'm wondering, man, how can I help you? stuck in the traffic jam. Yeah. Nothing in there. Oh, I should probably eat a morale. How do I... I thought I had... I thought I could eat it. Oh, there's none because I've got two in the... I read it the wrong way around because I'm an idiot. Okay. spoken to this fella? No. We'll find out, I guess. The woman still has her eyes fixed uh, on the photograph. In her yes. I have seen her before. Brilliante. Uh, okay, so... Maybe I can call her back now. Okay, let's see if I can call Alice. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox, and 
the soft. This is precinct 57. How may I assist you? <coughs> no. And I doubt they'll get back to me before tomorrow morning. Anything else? Sad. Just a moment. Ten four. Come in, officer. Over. Hmm, I don't think there's anything else here. Roger that. Ten ten. Over and out. As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's in the large orange sector, indicating the engine is warm. Next to the gauge is a red switch, labeled heat. Now, now, that's enough fun with the foldable headlights. I know they are mesmerizing. They are also fragile. I'm not going to turn it on for you again. Okay, Kim. Uh, okay, so... We're back in a day. So... Tomorrow, not today, apparently. She should be around here somewhere. The Wild Pines Rep. Yes, yeah, so this is into the harbour, but that's... I don't know where that is. Hmm. Find the cryptozoologist. Oh yeah, he's on the other side, so we've got to wait till Wednesday for that. Get boots off of the victim's feet. <laughs> this is devilishly tricky. Interesting. I, I mean, I would quite like to do that. Hmm. This is a hard one from what I remember. So this was the thing I was waiting for, I believe. So I should be able to get that done. Oh yeah, 98%. So we're close. I don't know what half of these extra bits mean, really. Skill points to unlock these, apparently. So we need time to pass a bit more, it seems. Yeah, I was going to talk to her. How do I get to her? Points and endurance, and get better and health. Interesting. Let's see if I can do this up here. See if it takes me or gets me anywhere. It does. The door is closed. Yeah, that doesn't really help me, does it? Okay. Kim also tries not <laughs> to look at the pile of tape viscera on the carpet or the weird suitcase on the hat rack or the potted plant dying in the corner. But it's all just too morbid to ignore. I'm no sorry. Problem, officer. Like he'd like to leave. <laughs> I didn't know you could bring him in here. That's funny. <laughs> so yeah, how do I get to... That's Kim's room, right? 
don't know how I get onto that roof bit that that woman's on. That's really weird. Can I get that? No. Don't know where this guy's walking to. Am I just running around the entire I, I am. Just the entire business. Okay. Okie dokie. Am I done yet? Why does it take so long? <laughs> There's also that there, and I'm not sure I know how to get over there. I'd love to get over there, but you know. A tarpaulin cloak is still caught on the railing. No one has Backed claimed it for their own. Interest. Two. Ah, interesting. So next time I try it, I should take off my trousers and shoes. <laughs> An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso of the hanged man. I don't know if I've done this before. From the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time the lines intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. It still kind of looks like a map of the stars in the night sky, but something's not right. What's For the meaning of the tattoo? Discover, you've gotten as far as you will without assistance. Someone who knows about history could tell you. Gone. Who are you gone? Okay. So that's giving me something else to do, I think. Handwritten note from the fridge. The note is written with a blue pencil on a piece of lined office paper. The kitchen magnets have left spots on its surface. Someone has scribbled. S. I can't believe the off-site copy is still here. The illiterate ginger kid keeps stealing stuff from the studio, so I had to hide it somewhere safe. You'll find the filament memory with the off-site copy oh, in yeah. the frozen ice cream maker. Please take it home, ASAP. It's important. 
I'd do it myself if I lived in a civilized place with a freezer. Take care, Suliswaf. Yes, filament memory. That's what it was, because then we can get onto that computer. I remember now. Ledger of failure and hatred. Wow. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A cabbage of papers hanging from the board with the permeables drawer inside. It's barely held together by a clip, then made complete by the faint smell of urinal cleaner. Current Without resistance there. or sound, the two panels move against each other. The compartment is now open. Inside, you see two ticket stubs and a handmade postcard. That's a bit, it's a bit rude, that one, so I'm going to get it It's clear. slightly, ever so slightly, difficult to breathe once you've done so. The drawer is locked. Blue ink drips from the white pages in your hand. Arson, the case for petty it. theft, spousal abuse. Handwritten logs on dozens of investigations date back to January 51. Stamped case files commit to paper. These are your last couple of months in Revachon. Precinct 41, Jamrock Quarter. You don't exactly. It takes Read about half file. an hour to piece one together using the system you've devised. Which one do you want? Interesting. Uh, couch in an unexpected location. Some assholes brought their couch outside and hung out on it. Oh, in the they? middle of the street, on the roof. In the middle of the, the street. On the hillside by the motorway. You know, at an unexpected location. They were young and they thought they looked cool on it. They actually look like assholes. Insufferable dicks. Young Gonna people are the worst. This. So anyway, you got to complain about the, the damn sofa or couch or whatever it is. They were leaving it out in all these unexpected and whimsical, whimsical locations. locations. They took it to where they also took photos of themselves on it and smoked cigarettes and drank coffee because they felt it's intellectual. Very intellectual. Cigarette butts, coffee cups, stupid couch. You had to clean it all up, and you did. So congratulations to you. Case solved. That's like a pretty shit case. No, you didn't have time for that. These notes show that you have what is called a real goddamn job. You don't have time to be chasing down the couch assholes. You have a real job to do. What next? <laughs> it would be very interesting to read about these, wouldn't it? I mean... There seems to be a square-shaped entry wound in the victim's forehead. She's been sitting there for weeks, on her rocking chair, with a square hole in her skull, staring at the wall, her mouth agape. What? That's all you got. From the half hour you spent piecing it together, all you know is the entry wound was square-shaped. You never found the bullet. And then another body showed up, also with a square hole in his forehead. Sequence Who cut? knows? Those pages are missing. What next? Don't worry. One day. One day you may still catch the man with the square gun. <laughs> with the square gun. This one is relatively easy to reconstruct. Overnight on 1202, a graffito, nay, a mural, appears on an eight-story tenement overlooking central Jamrock. The building is a sparsely inhabited ghost tower part of a failed real estate development called Grand Coudon. Okay. Cause of failure. Rent too high. Thanks. The mural is enormous. Two silhouettes, a man and a woman, are kissing. The text cut into their form reads, True love is possible only in the next world. For new people, it is too late for us. Wreak havoc on the middle class. Those two things don't seem connected. People call it that thing and that fucking thing. It's visible for miles. In two days, the What's station's that? complaints desk gets clogged with requests to remove the bummer. You and your partner are assigned to the case. Sounds a bit weird. The graffito crew is easy to track down. Only the Bell Lectures have the literage of industrial paint to cover the surface. One of the graffito artists is rumored to be rich. 
they take responsibility for the execution, but not the design. The ideologue of the next world Nero, as the crew calls it, remains an unknown. Do I find out? The case files do not show you finding the author of the design. The crew agrees to clean up after themselves. However, your partner, JV, is against the removal, citing public support for conservation. <laughs> this leads to a debate in Precinct 41, which then spreads to the streets of Jamrock, ending in a rare plebiscite organized by you Didn't and the rest of is. Road 3. The 9,000 people subjected to the mural's message, all of Lakeside, Central Jamrock, and Villa Lobos, plus half of the eminent domain, participate in the vote. Although the case begins with what appears to be a lot of rambling on the streets as to how juvenile and stupid the mural is, given a choice between two options, a staggering 78% of voters choose to keep it. Turns out the opposition were a loud minority, and that love truly is possible in the next world for new people, and it is too late for us. All that remains is to wreak havoc on the middle class. I don't know what that even means. I don't like this one. Mm, don't know. In any case, it appears to have been a rare case of civil activity in the quarter and agreement as well. What do you want to tackle next? Murder. Murder. Tum tum tum. At the hookah parlor was a case originally assigned to an officer called Joseph Mills, who is now dead. Of circumstances completely unconnected to murder at the hookah parlor. Okay, but how? Beaten to death by a throng of Villa Lobos gang members Lobos. when him and his partner J.M. only initials mentioned answered a call one night. It's a sad story, and it isn't really represented in your case files. Yeah. Stop stalling and get to the murder. <laughs> well, wow. sorry, legend. Joseph Mills was on this case that he just couldn't solve. Was doing it solo. Said it was a real nutcracker, a real brain twister. Was on it for, like, a month. The captain got impatient. Shit or get off the pot, Mills. Okay. Mills didn't get off the pot. <laughs> Not yet. He kept at it for a couple of weeks more, racking his brains, running with every theory as outlandish as they seemed. Still couldn't solve the murder at the Uka parlor. Tough case, he said. Toughest he's ever had. No, he was awful. <laughs> awful sense of humor, too. The worst jokes you've ever heard. Really rapey. Still. Oh, no. He'd been That's on it good. for months now. Said it was the final case. Said it was uncrackable. That murderer vanished into thin air. That goddamn hookah parlor was all he talked about. Okay, so the case is handed to you because Mills isn't getting anywhere. And you look into it. Here's the setup. A young man is found dead in a hookah parlor. You know, those places where you go and smoke bubblegum flavored vapor all day. Can you get high? No. It's soot and water vapor. It doesn't do anything. Mm, pretty yeah. Stupid. So anyway, young man in his 20s found with his skull busted open right on the floor of the hookah parlor in the middle of the day. No one else is in there. Only client that day. In perfect health, too. Some kind of movie producer. No one enters. No one exits. Mm. He's just sucking on his watermelon hookah all morning, all noon like he usually does. He's a regular. No calls, nothing. Just sucking on the hookah until 1545. Then bam, he's dead on the floor with his skull busted open. Blood everywhere. What happened? How can it be? Mills has no idea. Invisible assassin. Movie deal gone sour. Girl at the counter did it. Nothing fits. Eerie. Man just dropped dead. So you go to the parlor. You see cushions around the table. Tables low, heavy, really sharp edge. See? You can't even read the thing without solving it. <laughs> yeah, it was that. 
turns out hookah does do something. It turns off your brain's oxygen supply, and you don't notice it until you get up to go to the bathroom. Hi, Harry. What was he doing there for six hours? Smoking hookah. Didn't nah. you hear? I don't know. Trying to come up with a movie script, maybe. Anyway, that was Murder at the Hookah Parlor. Joseph Mills wasn't a good detective, and mm. about 30 minutes has passed piecing it together. Next. <laughs> Not much has changed in the... That's fair enough. Okay, so... He's a shitty cop. Advanced race theory. Woo! Now I have Everything is calm nice. in the eye of the race storm. Your mind is lucid and bright. I didn't the want mind to bending, this, but... phylogenetics appear more distant and, to be fair, a little ridiculous. The great race mystery has cleared up. All that's left to do is verbalize your thoughts. Go and talk to Measurehead about your newly found insights. Conceptualization. Ah, fine, we now have this beautiful, beautiful. We went to the vets today as well for the cats, but it was just a routine checkup. Grass seed in her nose. That sounds silly. She shouldn't have tried to snort grass. Goodness me. to pretend to be racist now. The unpromising race pupil returns. I think I know what the race in England and... is. Oh my god. <laughs> Degenerate race here. I don't know what this is. Ah. I don't know. It's shit. <laughs> uh, I don't actually know what it is. This is very tricky. Look, babe. The minion of law is also a racist, but his racism is basic and robed. He thinks he has solved the great race enigma by describing a robed mechanism of scientific competition. So unadvanced. The basic race education he received in high school has led him to think his phylum are the sole authors of race theory. An esoteric study reaching back to the ancient mass society of Pericarnassus over 4,500 years ago. Basic racist, I take pity on you. You clearly want to enter the harbor. <laughs> I do. Like a little boy who wants to go on the potty. I can press the button for you. Please, it that's all I've been asking the door. you. Very well. You may enter the door once. Our race conversation here has concluded. Okay. Finally. Let's go. I did try to punch him like twice, if not three times. Wait. How do I how do I get in? Yeah, he's pretty punchable, not gonna lie. Do I have to go down this way? Please stop.
Where's the door? Maybe it's up there. Hello, bite! It wasn't obvious. Is it this one? Oh, it is. Stuck it. See. Every worker equals a member of the board. Demand democracy. I do not need bullying. Drawers are locked. Coffee machines on. Sentient. Okay. book yes i'll take it on second glance someone has forgotten to properly Ooh. close one of the drawers it's unfortunate for the union to just leave their paperwork lying around like this let's see what's inside he thinks open the drawer, the drawer opens smoothly Ooh. inside is a well-organized hundred <coughs> of Browse. documents containing logistical data two kinds of transactions stand out Materials coming into Revachol from the outside world, from Muindi, Grad, and even Ilmara. Ilmara. And the same materials being handed over to companies inside Revachol, Kuhon, okay. Coal City, La Delta, and Jamrock are listed among the many districts where the imports are being sold. Anything interesting? It's hard to make sense of this thicket of company names, dates, quantities, oh. and percentages. You try to focus, but the lines are getting blurry. Roll for it. Look how blurry Damn it. all the lines on these papers are. How unwieldy your own willpower is to Fail. yourself. You're like an absurdist Samaran monk. Hermeneutics was almost within your grasp, but now only vague letters float before your eyes. Less meaningful, but aesthetically more pleasing. Could I actually focus through not You're focusing? You're a police officer, not a spiritual healer. <laughs> You can focus the normal way by turning your attention to something and not letting go. Chop volition. Is that what you're doing with those folders over there? Uh, yes. Right. This is probably not relevant to our case. After all, we're not investigating an accounting mystery. Okay, but I'm gonna try again. You're trying hard, <sighs> For fuck's but sake. the data here is unbelievably dry. Something about containers. Okay. The drawer slides. Rude. I wanted to see it though. What's that? A postcard. Nice. I like postcards. <gasps> Glasses. Yeah. And magnesium. That's great. Because uh, I needed that. Okay. So I've got shades. Visual calculus and drama. Let's put those on. Oh yeah! <laughs> drama minus one. Well, that sucks. But anyway. <laughs> Bless me. I do apologize. A laminated postcard. Oh yeah, I only have one dice. <laughs> Rude. Again, chat should get Izzy a chocolate figurine as big as Izzy to show <laughs> how long it would last. To see how long it would last. Hmm. A radical Mazovian perspective on a range of contemporary issues. Okay. The front of this quarterly journal features a large satirical portrait of the late King Frieser from the sides of his head. A pair of white antlers spread to the corners of the cover. To See your disappointment, your there aren't any full Aww. color pictures to direct your attention. Just column after column of a closely week. set text. Interrupted if it was my size, it would last longer than a week. In black and white. After rifling the pages with your thumb <laughs> several times, you return to the table of contents. The magazine is divided into several sections hmm. International Development. Kunst Kommer, as you know, this journal takes its name from Mazov's immortal expression, 
du cristal a la fume. But I don't know what like this is. the structures of capitalist ideology, we too are at a risk of going a la fume. Unlike many publications which are content to spoon feed their readers reassuring drivel, La Fume is committed to telling the radical truth only four issues in, and it sounds like they've already alienated their readership. Mm. So please, if you value our radical Mazovian perspective on contemporary politics, culture, and international affairs, what do Kim, you expect? I think this is a communist. It was laying thing. around the office of the Debardeurs Union. They're probably bankrolling this thing. You flip back to the front of the magazine. The table of contents unfolds. Unsurprisingly, much of this section is taken. You skim the headlines. Paint the harbor red and white. Martinez tames the wild pines. Martinez. A city I know that in word. revolt. Name. First, we take Martinez. Then, finally, there's a brief article by the writer, G. Martin, accusing Whoa. the owner of the Cape Side apartments of illegally attempting to evict certain communist tenants simply for not having paid their rent. <laughs> Wouldn't it be better for everyone if Labour and Capital could reach some reasonable accommodation? According to these editorials, there can be no accommodation. Why do communists love puerile insults? And they wonder why they're always being left out in the cold. What Judging about a coalition? from the context, it's something very large and fundamental. You should probably know about it already. You flip back to the front of the magazine. The, what about this, this section one? includes a long, tedious critique. You also tedious. skip Ugh. over an article about heavy fuel oil smuggling. Along I'm the mess, face it, you really aren't. You flip back no, to I'm the front. Interested. It takes a moment, but gradually it dawns on you that Kunz und Kultur must mean arts and culture. Why uh... they decided to title this one section in Volda is beyond you. It evokes a sense of recognition and fellowship among those privileged enough to understand. As you leap through so. this section, you come across oh, the main feature, like though, CS. is a long essay titled Tip Top Tourne, a critical Mazovian perspective. Read this yes. so-called artist spotlight is really just a brief Q&A. Uh. Made all the brief. The actual article is surprisingly light on details, Motor but if you don't racing. follow it, you only ever hear about the ludicrous sponsorships and obscene death toll. You think you're settling in for a relaxing recap of the most recent season, maybe sprinkled oh. with some nice anecdotes about a few of the more colorful drivers. Instead, you find yourself skimming a wow. 10,000 word Aspects. feature about all the politically Problematic. problematic. Where to even start? For one, there's the crass commercialism of its sponsor, all of it, basically. <laughs> uh, here it Oddly is. enough, this article has two by... There's no way those are real names. Have you ever met anyone named Exilus? <laughs> Come on, they're plainly pseudonyms. What's their role about sponsorships? The article says, every pursuit has its price. Every pleasure, thus the so-called tournée becomes a competition between increasingly meaningless brand signifiers. Your discount laundry detergent racing against a pack <laughs> of Astra cigarettes, or even a fritter. And that precisely is what's problematic about it. Were it not at the end of the day, it's the destruction of these 750,000 real races that you're really watching. No, sure, I like the racing. You think that, but subconscious that's because you haven't been reading critically I haven't been reading but critically. don't worry the whole Me point so of joking. these sorts of articles is to let think someone else that. read critically for you no one really watches it for oh, the races come on. can this article read your mind it seems a certain so. kind of young man reads one or two books and suddenly thinks he understands the secret structures of reality if i had to wager i'd say they've never even seen the inside of a motor much less a motor race I take whatever they write with a large grain of salt. <clears throat> One single salt to the grain. Front of the okay, no more magazine. I wondered if it might give me uh, some clues later. An imposing combination of a punch Ooh. clock and a payphone is looking down at you from the wall. A note on the side says, Tokens unavailable due to strike. Use change. 
Okay, so that's a payphone. But I don't have anyone to call yet. Strange buzzing sounds, okay. And a clock, because I can hear it ticking. Oh, look, we're here! The tarpaulin Yay. cloak is still hanging on the railing. The, as your fingers touch the tarpaulin, it almost feels like the cloak wants to deliver. I will shield you from the elements and give my life for yours. Nice. I got my cloak back. It gives me shivers. Yes. Yes, yes. Esprit Corp. I did it, everybody. I did it. I made it here. I jumped. Oh, collecting rainwater. I see, I see. Does that mean I can now read this? No. Ooh. Look, there's loads of these. Three packs worth of cigarette butts. Snow is quietly covering the numerous wine bottles and cigarette butts on the ground. Someone partied really, <laughs> really hard here. Did I do well, this? Yes, I think we can say with relative confidence that it was you. Uh, I must have been miserable. Yes, this scene isn't exactly ripping with joy. Wow. I'm gonna collect my rubbish. Can't leave it lying on the floor now, can I? I'm a good citizen, I clean up my rubbish, and also it pays me for every bottle I pick up, so, yes. you know. Get out of my way, Kim. I need these bottles. Oh god. This is the night watchman's booth. The Ooh. name on the door reads... <gasps> Rene! Rene Arnaud. It's supposed to be speaking to Rene. Listen, it's okay to take a few minutes to yourself. Sit down and have a breather. Got if you must. Around. But please hurry. We are pretty easy to spot up here. Nothing incriminating catches your eye. The cabinets are clean and their sparse content. It's a black and white photo of a young couple out in a street fair. The man, Rene is dressed in a royal carabiner uniform. The girl is young and very pretty. She is smiling playful. Rene looks like he's about to smile. This photo must be tied to some good. Why did you take that picture of Rene? You're really interested in that old soldier. Not sure I understand your fascination, but sure, as long as it doesn't take up a whole lot of time. The chair is not as austere as the rest of the booth. A thin grey pillow is attached to the seat, secured to the stiles by black ribbons. Stale air floods through your nostrils. Not a single mote of dust floats inside your lungs, though. The inside of the booth. Huh, you, can you stand that. and exit the booth. Oh, yeah, I have to ask Rene. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. Uh, apparently you can't get down there? No. Okay. Great machines. Noises. Yeah, the writing skip's good. Looks like a forest under snow. I mean, yeah. Obviously. Oh, running all the way around. Oh, wait, what's this? A rusting control panel with several knobs. Oh. Two buttons marked Mush and Aret are faded with use. It seems to control the Mush on Aret off. Hmm. I'm not going to press it yet. That seems like a problematic thing to do. 
I might need it to move later, but I need to know where I need it to move to. Yay! I think this is the crane here. I think. Uh, maybe it's this thing. Whale fjord. Okay. The machines are sleeping. Okay. <gasps> A bag. <coughs> Suitcase thing. Why is that locked? That's rude. Oh. Money. Money. It smells like burnt coffee. Why are you singing me? White waves on red. Hello. Container, container, I'll turn you nice and red. Container, container, put the logos on. The lyrics to this container song are being made up as Thanks. it goes along. Thanks. The accent is so thick, it's impossible not to notice he's Ubi from the vanishing peninsula of Ubisund on Muindi. Container, container, used to be wild pines. Container, container, now belongs to Everard. Uh, hello. Everard, Everard, Everard. He looks after everyone. Huh? Well, hey there. How can I help you, mister? The look in his deep blue eyes is as sincere as you've ever seen. Kind of makes you feel like an arsehole for no apparent reason. Agreed. I see you are not a union man, mister. Did you get lost? You're not one of them scabs, are you? What is it with you people I mean, scabs? I don't personally mind. Folks is just folks, you know. And folks gotta eat. Just some of the other guys don't look too kindly on the scabbing kind, if you know what I mean, mister. Uh, What's in the container oh, over there? That, one. that should be empty as far as I know. Lots of containers here have nothing in them. They're just waiting to be loaded up. Okay. Yes, yes. Here? Everybody needs a job, and this is mine. I'm Leonard, by the way. Leonard Bellick. But everyone calls me Leo. Okay, I'm thanks, like Leo. Mr. Edgar's right hand man when Mr. Edgar is out of town, and Mr. Edgar's right hand man when Mr. Edgar is away. <laughs> Actually, Miss Beaufort is the right hand man, but she's a lady. <laughs> lady. Who is this, Miss Beaufort? A real pretty lady with a skin like those Douay Sucre candy bars my missus likes so much. Them are real nice to suckle on once the dinner is done and me and the missus okay. sit down besides the radio. But I can't Sit listen down. to the radio all the time. There's so much to do around here, and I'm always busy keeping things running here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Here's oh, Lizzie. Both she is a real sharp tool. Mr. Everett put her through some fancy school and everything, east of the river. Four it's years smooth. she was gone, and when she came back, she was all fancy and lawyerly. He weird respects accent. that word. That's obvious. But she's a real nice girl. Grew up in this here neighborhood. Knows everybody and gets along with everyone. Real pillar of the community one day, I'm sure. For a fraction of a second, there's sadness in his eyes. If me missus and me was to have a child, I'd be real happy if she turned out like her. But she can't have kids. Doctor, Sad. my mate, said so. And she knows about such things. Been a doctor for almost 50 years, she has. It's a long ass time. Law school? Could she be talking about the Union Fixer, a.k.a. the Gardener? This is the Union Fixer, the Looks Gardener. Like it. I'm not sure what a Fixer is, but she is a real nice girl. Smart as a whip, too. Telling the Gardener you know her name might throw her off. Perhaps something to consider later. What are you doing oh, with the containers? I'm just making some covers for them containers here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So it's easier for the crane operators to spot them. 
What's going on here? Look at the mountains of containers rising behind him. The containers in the yard are green in Wild Pine's livery, and the mountains rising behind Leo is all red in Union colors. It's like some red infection was spreading outwards from the container yard's core. There appear to be cisterns underneath the Union container covers. Has anyone told you why you need to change the covers? No, not really. Miss Erat doesn't tell me all the big things. Says I go and tell them to everyone. Reasonable. What's underneath oh, them? I don't know, mister. They say it's some chemicals. Most chemicals. Most of them have labels on them, I think. Looks like a yes, massive redecorating. Yes, they are hiding it from the inside. All the red containers have the Debarder's Union logo on them. Thanks, Leo. Oh, no trouble at all, mister. No trouble at all. Where is everybody? Oh, most of the guys are down at the gates, keeping the scabs from coming in. We're on a strike. The whole union is. You don't have to work when you're on strike. Ha! We haven't worked for two months now. So two months. no one is working? <laughs> Not everyone is down there, of course. Mr. Everard is in his office, where he always is. And Jean-Luc is guarding the gate. But Titus and his boys got into some drunken trouble and Everard sent them on a nice vacation for a week or so. What trouble did Titus and friends get into? Oh, I'm not really supposed to talk about that. That's <laughs> union business. But him and his boy stirred up something in town. Probably drank too much and got into a fight or something. I heard Mr. Everett telling them to take some time off. What did they actually do? I guess the boys got a bit too rowdy and had to let out some steam. I don't really know the details. Well, that's just how boys are, you know. <laughs> I haven't been in a fight since I was in middle school. Easy, Leo. Let's keep this on the hardies. Look at him. It's not going to be anything useful anyway. Don't fight it. Better to go with the flow. Did they kill Too a prisoner? Leo's mouth is still moving, and the words are spewing forth. Words, words, and look, even more words. <laughs> this guy could go on till the end of days. Now he's talking about some drunk sawmill owner who... No. He already switched to a prized fishing rod he apparently owned at some point. You know what? Just cut in there with your questions. Oh yes. Born and raised in Arayish, mister. Mum had to leave my dad after he got a bit violent. Took us here to the new new world. I was new, about new ten world. then. Too old to lose my accent then. People say us Ubis are up to all sorts of trouble with sheep and other animals and whatnot. I just want you to know there was never any of that where I come from. No sir. Those are just nasty rumors. Thank you for clarifying that, sir. Oh, you want Mr. Everett? Everett. He's an awfully nice fellow, he is. Him and his brother are both nice fellows. They've new, lived new their world. entire lives in this here neighborhood. Guys like Mr. Everett and Mr. Edgar, his brother, are real good guys. Made marginalized what <laughs> it is today. Mr. Everett and Mr. Edgar and I went to the same school we did when we were boys. Okay, where oh, can I Mr. find him? Mr. Everett is where he always is. In his office, of course. That is what he said. Bye bye now. Goodness me. I got a level up, but I don't know what I want to spend it in yet. The coffee is still lukewarm. Demi fish that tells time. This looks like the guy I need to speak to. Before you is a walrus of a He's man big. seated behind a large desk. He looks up from his work, not the least bit surprised to see you. With great effort, he straightens himself up in his chair. Yet <laughs> let's get straight nothing. to business. There's he been a murder. At you. <laughs> Leave without comment. I mean, I could. Welcome, Mr. Dubois, Mr. Kitsuragi. It's good of you two to Dubois. stop by. Please, That's my name? Have a seat. So my name's something Dubois. I can't. I do know what my first name was, but I've forgotten. I'm Everard, Everard Clare, head of the Debardes Union here in Martinez. I'd offer you my hand, but unfortunately, my health prevents me from getting up. 
You understand. Well, you could reach across the desk, slash, you know, it's not so much your health He looks weight, extremely maybe. comfortable. The tiny folding chair, on the other hand, looks like a torture device. Uh huh. You go ahead, detective. Whatever he has in store for you, it can't be good, he thinks. I'll do my best. Forget about that. What's with this Dubois yeah. stuff? You're getting some seriously bad vibes from that name. Why are you calling me Mr. Dubois? Please, Mr. Dubois, let us converse in a civilized manner, as equals. Take a seat. I insist. It's nothing. Yes, that's probably right. It's nothing. Forget about it. Filter it out. Uh, I don't sit. It's kind of my thing. Very well, Mr. Dubois. I respect a man with strong convictions. I, too, have convictions. One of which is that I will not engage with any man who won't face me at eye level. Should you find yourself more amenable in the future, <laughs> I'd gladly resume our conversation. But until then, I'm afraid I must ask you to leave. You're no titan of volition, buddy. He's got you in a fork. Sit down or leave. I failed. Ah, uh, don't have volition. Excellent, Mr. Dubois. I can see that you're a reasonable man, and reasonable <laughs> men, reasonable men can be of great use to one another. Do I remain serious, wink back, well, this is try to wink back, or say about the chair being uncomfortable? Uh, yeah, why not? So tell me. <laughs> How can the head of the Debardes Union help a representative of the Revishal Citizens Militia today? The chair you're sitting on has Aww. got to be the most uncomfortable Damage chair in the world. It's violating, violating your backside. Oh, by the way, I heard you got a rather rude reception from a certain Lawrence Gart. Some people have no manners, it pains me to say. This should take care of that nonsense. Novelty check. It should be sufficient to cover your expenses for a few days and patch over your differences with a cafeteria manager. Go ahead, take it. Wow, that's 25 real. That's good money. You need it. You know, Gart? Yes, I know Lawrence. He's a real character. No union man in him. A real piece of work, that boy is. With a grin, he points to the checker game. It's like you're on a game show. At least don't thank him for it. I kind of need it. Is there anything you'd like to say to me? Or... No. No, it's cool. You've got integrity. Cool? I wouldn't go that far. I'm sure there are cooler things than delivering a comically oversized novelty check to a cafeteria manager. But, sure, if that's what's cool nowadays. Now, I'd like to set your mind at ease about one other matter. Your lost gun. Let me assure you, union people are on it are. as we speak. I think they I've got my best hounds it. looking for that hounds. lost gun. His slug-like lips move, but all you hear is an echo. Lost, lost gun. gun. Lost gun. Lost gun. The world is swallowed by a black hole of fear. Oh. Only two words escape its gravitational pull. Lost and gun. Mm. I'm not worried. I got this. Are you all right, Harry? You say you Harry, got this, that was it. but you seem a little anxious to me. Don't be. Everything's going to be all right. Going to be it's not right. like you left it loaded. You didn't lose a loaded gun. Local children aren't out there playing with it right now, pointing it into their own mouths. It's in a safe place. I just know it. I have a feeling everything's Probably going to be got all it. right. I don't like his voice, but I don't think it's it supposed to. Loaded. There were two bullets in it. You always keep at least two barrels loaded. Oh, minus two from the chair killing me. Didn't say thanks for it, but took the novelty check. Ugh. Well, I can't do that, can I? I mean, I can try, I guess. God, 
You're sweating. Your knee is jerking. You're about to cry. Aren't <laughs> what you? What men can cry too. You're about to cry because you lost your gun and those children are going to shoot themselves with it. Yeah, men can you cry want too. To cry? <laughs> God, you're weak. Whatever you do, don't cry. You'll think you're disgusting. Maybe. Mr. Dubois, you don't look so good. Morale critical. What is this, Mr. Dubois? He keeps repeating. What is he trying to pull here? Mr. Dubois! Mr. Dubois! Harry! Keep sliding down the chair like a jello shot, or there are no Harrys. Let your mind go to your safe place. I'm gonna slide down like a jello shot. Mr. Dubois, are you okay? Can I get you a glass? Maybe you could use your hands somehow. In a kind of throw-in motion, like you're throwing that Mr. Dubois act right back at him. <laughs> He's Mr. Dubois. <laughs> nah, I'm as good as it gets, Mr. Dubois. I'm vaguely just with your hands above your head. Or, yeah, yeah, man, I'm fucking great. And keep sliding. Or, actually, this chair is uncomfortable. I could use that glass of water. Sit upright. Or, I'm melting. <laughs> I'm melting. Four? No, I'm thinking three. There is no five sin. What an odd demonstration of... Huh, you got me, Harry. I don't even know what. As entertaining as it was, I'm afraid we're wasting our time. And I'm an extremely busy He's man. extremely busy. As I'm sure you are too. Okay, enough. We are here to ask... Quick, here's your window. Get yourself together and ask him questions. Police officer questions. Um, here to talk about the hanging? Oh, of course. That's your main thing here. That's why you're in Martin Ames. I know everything that goes on around here, and I would love to discuss it with you. Okay, good. I mean, it's no secret that the lynching is connected to the strike. So much to talk about. Honestly, it's been weighing on me so heavily. I understand you need to interview me. But there's a thing that's been keeping me up at night. I want to talk about the hanging. I mean, if we could just calmly talk, exchange information, we could blow this thing wide open. Yes, that sounds good. Let's do that. But I can't think straight with this thing weighing on me. You're police officers, aren't you? I have a crazy idea. Door you guys are basically machines. door opening machines. Incredibly talented at opening doors. <laughs> Kim, is that true? We door opening machines. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand. If you're asking us to break down someone's door, it's not going to happen. Come now. I just need you to go open a little door for me and leave it unlocked. A simple thing. Absolutely <laughs> nothing shady about it. Does this jiggling ooze think he's going to use you? He's uh, got another thing coming. Yes. Play his game, son. With your eyes peeled. He's going to slip up. And when he does, you're going to come out on top. Why don't you just open it yourself? Harry, I'm a very busy man, and more importantly, I don't have that <laughs> extraordinary physique you do. You look like you run around all you day. Look like ha, you could run ha, around ha. all day. Because I do. You want to send someone a message that the police are working for you. I repeat, I'm a very, very busy man, Mr. Kitsaragi, and therefore I must occasionally enlist outside help. Whose oh, door is no it? No one's. It's just a weasel. A weasel lives there. What Nothing do you mean by a about. weasel? A loud blabbering weasel. When weasels feel no one is watching, they start acting foolishly. Just eh? go there, unlock the door, and leave it open. It's been such a burden on me, Harry. I just want this to be over so I can discuss business with you. But you don't want to know Harry, anything. my dear friend. I am what people call a local bigwig. I know everything that goes on in Martin A's. Okay. Fantastic, my friend. Just let me know when Take it's done. Take our friendship to the, the next key level. From He's down by the gates. Manana's like a free agent in the union. Special operations. Hardened socialist. A real free thinker, too. He'll tell you precisely where the door is. 
One, One last, last thing. thing. Just open the door. You don't need to go in or anything. I just want that weasel to come home and see the unlocked door. Uh, you can ask me Honestly, how I got in. I didn't want to bring it up, Harry. I heard you have become Measurehead's race pupil. <laughs> I'm a big racist. It's basically like that in my head all the time. No, it was a tactic. Of course, Harry. Of course. You're not some kind of a fantastic racist now. And rest assured, no one's going to hear about it. Mm. No one's going to know what you did with race there, Harry. Your race bonanza is safe with me. <laughs> Word of how racy it got will never leave Martin Ames. Anyway, I assure you, I am a very well-informed man. Information reaches me, of course. Let us dispatch with the formalities. You call me Everart, I call you Harry. That's what the Hang of the Corpse called you. Harry. That's really my, my name. God, so it's true. I didn't want to believe it, but you are a fantastic science fiction amnesiac cop, aren't you? What are the odds of that? I think the odds of that are very low. It might be a good idea to hide your confusion. I mean, see what his game is first. I was just so testing good you. to hear that, Harry. Apparently, my sources were wrong. However, if you did have a spot of memory trouble, I could help you out. With, with my, my big, big fat, fat folder. folder. Words flow like a river of honey from his lips. I guess a word has already reached him. It's just a brown folder. You can't make out what's written on it. Are you trying to tell me you've gotten hold of some of our documents? Mr. Kitsuragi, would you mind? Me <laughs> and Harry are talking about his lost identity right now. Don't just jump to the folder. That's not smart. Shows you're on the edge. Do some probing first. Uh, what is my full name? It's Harry. Harry Dubois. But you are Harry Dubois. No, I'm really, really not. You are Harry. Uh, I don't really don't like it. Don't be silly, Harry. Harry Dubois, that's a real man's name. <laughs> a union man's. <sighs> Mr. Kitsuragi doesn't seem even slightly empathetic to your memory loss, Harry. I, however, wish to help you any way I can. Where did you ah, get the folder? This. My friends in your organization gave it to me, Harry. This translates into, haha, you guys are so corrupt. Reasonable. I find that very suspicious. May I have a look? I'm afraid this is meant for union eyes only, Mr. Kitsuragi. I'm sure you understand. Please continue, Harry. Oh. Do you know anything about my family? Family? Harry, you're not a family man. There's not one peep of family in here. Mm -hmm. Unless you think you're a family man. I'd be Do you a wonderful strike father. yourself as a family oh, yeah. man, Harry? Well, yes. I'm sure you're going to make one little boy or a girl very happy and proud one day, Harry. What kind of cop does well, it say Harry, I am? If I were to sum you up in one word... Apologetic. It would be apologetic. I'm sorry? <laughs> I'm confident. Well, you sure come off as very confident in all our interactions, Harry. <laughs> You're a real man's man. All right, let's do this drama. As you look at the folder, Everard covers it with his hand and pets it. He's hiding it from you because it's not a real RCM folder. Uh. It's just another one of those brown folders you saw in the file cabinet. That's okay, not an RCM Harry, folder. Okay, Harry, you got me. This is from the Census Bureau, not the RCM. Those Census Bureau people are absolutely corrupt. You should do something about them. He got the name from the Census Bureau and everything else from your actions here in Martinez. Yes, yes, Mr. Kitsuragi from the Census Bureau. Like I said, now I'm actually a very busy man. So is... That means he doesn't really know anything about you. Reasonable. A pity. The mystery of you will have to remain... My name. Yes, that's what I said. Try to keep up, okay? Let's talk Let's about my lost on. gun. Yes, your lost gun. My best men are on it. Your gun will be found, Harry. Let me assure you of that. I it's just time a The only way to find it seems to be working with him. He might even be holding your gun hostage.
Did he really hold it hostage? Only one thing is certain. If you work with him, you're going to get it back. And working with him might be the only way to do it. Roy's yes. Thank you for the hot tip regarding your lost gun, Harry. My men have indeed factored in that you pawned it. Now, please, <laughs> let the professionals do their job. Kick back, Harry. Relax. I have great gun. It did not come as a surprise to him. He might actually not be bullshitting. Interesting. If I do things for you again, my Damn gun Damn it, works. Harry. That's exactly what it means. I'm only kidding, of course. Of course. I understand. We help you, you help us. Well, wait till later. You need this to get in and out through the gate. Great. Wouldn't want to get stuck here. in here. You're one of us now. A real red and white union man. Take care, Harry. Mm, not sure I like the sound of that. What we got going on? So, open the apartment door. Get the key to the weasel from Manana. -na. Worthless in a pawn shop. Interesting. Okay, so I can do something here at some point. Volition's one, that's why. Okay, well for now, I will leave it because I've got some stuff to do. overhead, moving what? a massive metal container through the air. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. With a surprisingly quiet thunk, the harbor sleeps as the strike rages in the distance. The crane can rest moving this container, of course. For this purpose, it was built. For this, okay. I can't see how that was worth the wreckers, except for seeing the crane in action, which I admit was satisfying. Can we get in it? We can. Oh. If it doesn't fall off on me. Before you stands a cargo container. Just one of many. Is it a special special? Because I don't. There Why? are a million containers here. Why are you fixating on this one? Uh, I was hanging you from the crane. You just picked one up because you wanted to interact with a cargo container. We are not here to interact with containers. We are here to talk to the Union, right? Mm, you attempt it. to turn the handle. To your left, the Lieutenant considers your actions with some puzzlement. No the, reply. the knock produces a hollow ring of metal. Impossible. Doesn't sound like there's anything inside the container. Impossible. That's funny. I'm gonna try anyway. Why are you even trying to open a door with rhetoric? <laughs> getting physical wasn't because an option. What wasn't an option? Using my body. Now is not the time to get philosophical, detective. You can do that after hours. Okay, fine. We can go there later.
Um, is this about the questions again? Uh, wow. I didn't know you worked for the Union, sir. Anything <clears throat> else I can do for you? No, you don't work for the Union. The Union works for you. Yeah. By supplying blow the whole thing on speed and gin right wow. now. Speed and gin. Do you have a warehouse? A warehouse. I don't know. Maybe. I don't really care what Frit does. Give me something. She looks up from Fine. Frit doesn't have a warehouse. Just a little back room here. Okay. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all yeah. bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Okay, here. I hope Saint Baptiste makes you feel better or something. Okay, here. I hope Saint Batiste makes you feel better or something. They'll have control on the story. Ah, uh, kind of. Okay, here. I hope Saint Batiste makes you feel better or something. Who is Saint that? Saint Batiste. You know, the pharmaceuticals company. Saint Batiste Pharmaceuticals. The one that sells meds out of Saint Batiste. She is right. Saint Baptiste, <laughs> the company, derives its name from Saint Baptiste, the city. Itself so named because that's what it is. A rare case where that really Ooh. is the full etymological history. As far Thanks, Encyclopedia. Oh no, I need to go get my money from this. I need to sell all my stuff. The tear machine stands in the corner. Insert Your bottles. bottles clunk into the machine. Yay. I've got 15 bottles. Woo! Right. So this one. We need to find Manana. But also Rene. Uh, who are you? Looking for something odd? Come to tell me to. F <laughs> oh man, oh man, that's great. Look at that guy go. I haven't seen anything that funny in a while. Is it yours? God, man. <laughs> Thanks for that, but no, it's not mine. He doesn't live in Martinez. Okay. Bye. Uh, he's also not the man I was looking for. Uh, where was Manana? I can't remember who that person is. I might be able to kill you out though with your I've name. I've got nothing to say to you. Why are you wasting your time? What's your role? I suggest oh. not wasting time on trivial pleasantries and focusing on why you are actually here. Even though she has excellent control <laughs> over herself, something <laughs> new behind her eyes. You caught her off guard. Push her some more. Easy, you are not here me. to chat up the legal counsel. You set the pace and the topic of these conversations here. Establish oh. that. Said Mr. Everett's I represent the union and these men here. A very minor victory. What's your role? Like I place? already told you, I'm a legal. I am not. You could be Liz. You could be anything. You <laughs> could even be a model. A model. Even a mod? Glenn, I went to law school. I am an attorney. He's right. With a face like that, she could be on the cover of Le Debutante International. He's right, you a know. cold look in her eyes speaks louder <laughs> than words. It's not her. She's not a hardy girl. What are you going to do to me? What are we going to do to you? <laughs> the union isn't going to do anything to you. Uh -huh. Technically, I'm part of it. Goddamn right it is. 
if anything, it is the RCM who do things to people. But we digress. Maybe we'll talk later. I can't remember who's who. Can I help you? You're already set for the night. Your door is unlocked. Oh. Okay then. Is, that, is the brain of the union? I don't think that's accurate. This case beats Titus again. Let's see. Looks like the circus left town, but the clowns are still here. He's not happy to see you. Oh well. Godly. Discuss the eighth holiday. I want to talk about the hanging again. again. Just get. <laughs> Good one, mm. Titus. About yeah. fucking time. Well, I don't know what else. I, I can't do the godly one. That's ridiculous right now. Uh, what did it need, though? Renee. Asia. I don't know who that is. Oh my gosh, stop doing that. Oh, it's authority. Okay. Yeah, the one I'm not very good at. There's quite a lot of physical instrument ones, but I've done that before. So where is... Vigilance officer, what can this old carabineer do for you? That's ah, yes. King Philip. Oh, absolutely. At the mercy of a cocaine snorting tyrant who emptied the treasury, so. Cocaine? Cocaine, -um. No. Sounds like our kind of. No. A superpower, feared and respected. A testament to what this country can be under the leadership of a true king. Someone who knows how to rule. How she decisively, rule. <laughs> without fear of offending the sensibilities of the frail and weak minded among his subjects. Maybe she takes care of his people. Is only as strong as its leader. Don't get started on that again. What happened? The Carabineer doesn't reply, but his entire. Oh, Hall Philip was a big fan of the Purple Nose Candy. The nobility nose loved candy. so much. Okay. A cocaine connoisseur of sorts. <laughs> His egocentricity is borderline legendary. Okay. You can't even take the responsibility for yourself. How could you fathom? That's why the Philippian <gasps> kings use cocaine. Clarity, clarity of, vision. of vision. That's what they all say, right? Their work. Regnum cocaine. Rev I'm satisfied with this explanation. Oh, good. Of course. Philip III was even brought into this world with the help of cocaine. The court medic administered a dose to his mother when she was in labor. And it is well known that with the help of cocaine, only the purest, only of course, the purest. he was able to connect with higher... Higher realms. Of course. He's just making excuses for the king's habits, isn't he? Yeah, drug users shouldn't operate heavy machinery, much less rural countries. From what I've seen of the officers of the RCM, I... but I don't want to get into a debate about right. Yes, God be. the Debardeaux Union pays me to stand with you during the night. Not out of it. I'm an old man. Don't sleep more than a few hours every night. He feels like he has to justify himself for some reason. He both looks into the yard. Yes, it does. Unfortunately. I wasn't working that night. Being a leave? private matter. Nothing to do with this. You see, officer, René is the kind of man who'd rather die than admit he needs medical assistance. Uh, or so God he... for... I'm fine, help. God damn it. Mind your own business. <laughs> it's nothing. Just got to cut back on coffee. Well, no he was one. working a shift. The boost has been unmanned since last oh, Monday. Oh, the guard. 
Interesting. There's no other girl. No one has been guarding the container yard since last. Yes! It's. It's not actually an issue. Look, officer. The container yard doesn't actually need a guardsman. Never had one before, Rene. Monsieur Claire had that booth built specially for him. It's. The possibility of someone being in there is enough to discourage any. Evrard created this job for Rene because he knows the Royal Carabiner's pension of honor and PTSD isn't something a man can live off. A decorated Kingsman collecting tear reflects bad on the whole neighborhood. His words. <laughs> I've seen nothing wrong with tear collecting. It's my sad thing too. Oh, I didn't mean to imply there's something wrong with that. I do it too. Everyone does it. It's an excellent side thing. Yes, yes, yes. Can we conclude the- He is not going to become an entrepreneur. Who is the girl? She is nobody. This is none of your concern. The lady is Jeanne-Marie Beaulieu. And she sure as hell wasn't a nobody. Got it, yes. thanks. Yes, uh, like I said, it would be up anyway. So might as well keep an eye out. It keeps my senses sharp. Composure. I could upgrade composure potentially. I don't think I've done that one before. And it's caught me out a couple of times now. Well, I could have tried it twice if I did something else, but... All you observe is a veteran with... This is the uniform of the Royal Carabiniers in service of Fissel the First, Guillaume <laughs> Le Lion, and the valiant King Philip the Fifth. Don't Thank you. you mean Fissel the Fan? You do not speak his name, <laughs> Craven, although he was a clown. He was but he was our clown. Ours to ridicule. There's something you missed. <sighs> you will get to it. Don't worry. So where was the person that I was supposed to see? I can't remember. Yeah, the voice acting's great. It really adds a lot to it. <laughs> so, I had to find Mara Man Manara. I don't remember where that person is, or who that person is, or anything about that person, really. looking out for stuff that's changed maybe. I don't think it's this person, is it? Right to work! Right to Promising raised pupil 
Leave towns. Yeah. Where is she? Who is she? I don't remember. I don't remember where she is. Oh. Back here. Get the key from Manana. I don't remember who that is. Let's see if I can find it in here. Forty. Wow. Novelty dice maker. Money, pay for damages, button Sylvie. Okay, so it's not in there. So who is it then? Where can I find them? This is the problem with having big gaps in between when you play, sometimes you don't remember who's who? Or where's where? <laughs> this is annoying, because look, it's not This orange forever. machine is dead still. It has a hand-cranked ice cream churner. This is what I need to get, open up at one point, but I also have to do this thing. The bear's eyes are still glowing red. It's guarding over the freezing corpse hidden inside its belly. Exception. Mm, could do. That would mean I have to not play some of them. Oh no, it's fine doing it weekly. It was just I missed a couple of weeks because of um, various different things. That was the main problem. But I can't see anything in here right now. Oh yeah, I need to equip my torch, don't I? There we go. Clothes it used to display. <laughs> the barbell waits patiently Legendary on the floor, like a dog 14. for its master. Wow. I could try it, but I feel like I'm going to injure myself. Oh, I did it! Hi, hi, ya! Conjure enough an inhuman amount of strength. You raise the barbell up in the air. Your biceps tremble, but you're a savage. This is a children's <laughs> game. Oh yeah. Oh, I healed my morale. Very nice. 
A warm wave of accomplishment washes over your head as you drop the barbell to the floor. Good, because I need it. For a moment, it f hey, but you're still in the ghost house. What if someone heard this? What if they know you're here? Good technique. <laughs> oh wait, I ran the wrong way. It's this way, not that way. Uh oh, what was that? Again, are you looking for a die? I have more questions. I'm listening. About the oh, good. I hope it clarified things a bit. Shivers. What else? Mm. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. What is the banana person? I swear I recognize the name though. I feel like I've encountered them before. A thick layer of cold dust covers the furnace. Mm. Why is there nothing down there? Very, very strange. This guy is like, oh yeah, try it. This nothing. orange machine is dead still. It has a hand See, crank ice cream churner right and an electric freezer. The ice around it slowly melting. Next Friday you're starting Mr. Stream. I wonder why. <laughs> no worries, Harry. Thank you for being here as well. I do enjoy them as well. Um Sometimes they confuse me. And the ice cream crank. Done that. Mm. Yeah, it's around it slowly melting. I wonder if I just have to wait for like a day. <laughs> Drift off into dreamland, nice. Oh god, that's not the one I meant. I meant that one. Yeah, 55 experience again. Uh, meh. What else have we got? I don't know who that is. I don't remember where else I can go either. Who are you? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Who are you? No one. She doesn't really want to be. Is she such a working class woman? Shouldn't you be working? All the time. Right now I'm browsing books. Even a working class woman needs something to read. I'm a I policeman. Do you need what with? me? Her hands move over the book covers. The tips of her fingers look rough, stained with yellow. My Are husband? No, he's. So I don't he know. At home now. Where is this going, officer? That's what I'm hearing is you don't really know yes, where your husband is. I don't really need to know. Maybe he of is missing. Of course he's not. It's not like he's a pocket watch. I wouldn't just <laughs> lose him. Have you she lost has a pocket the, watch? The husband is totally lost. You should tell her that it's okay. It's what? okay. It's alright not to Who know where he is. Who said anything about shame? Stop talking down to me. My husband is not missing. But he is. You can feel it. Or maybe it's something else then. <laughs> maybe your children no, are missing. No, absolutely not. Where are, are you they? a policeman or a nanny? Police whatever I want. Where are they? They are not missing. You know where they are. 
They're at home, smoking, giving the ladder of vices a chance. Okay, mm -hmm. making sure. I see. Thanks. Maybe your cockatoo is missing. I don't mean to disrespect, sir, but... For what it's worth, I agree. But cockatoos can't be stopped when they get ladies. It's better to indulge him at this point. Uh, is it I missing? I don't even have a cock. It's a trap. Never ever say what. <laughs> what? Even if I had, it wouldn't be missing. <laughs> okay. What Nothing. did you mean? Go read up on them if you're so interested. Maybe you should. What if the cockatoo is your astral captain? Or your heraldic bird? Okay, get a task. The story is open. Thank the you. woman before you. <laughs> now I can find a bird. Well, saved. Hello again, sir. Who is oh, that? Oh, that's Auntie Billy. She's nice if a bit distressed. She's your aunt? No, no, sir. She's a working woman who comes to look at the bird. I Why think she, she is a bad husband. Not very nice or helpful. Ah, bye. I wonder if I can now ask about her husband. He's not lost, he's just a dick. Hello again, esteemed officer. And I'm welcome for a book about, a book cockatoos. about cockatoos. There should be one upstairs. Right. Thanks. Fascist magic. <laughs> yep, one hundred percent. Okay. Uh, so, what's this one? Biographies. Several biographies. maps have been attacked. The maps look old and faded. Your eye catches a map. No. Oh wait, I need a map. Several maps. The maps look old. I'm sorry, officer. The map of Martinez is the only one available. The other two are not for sale anymore. They're quite valuable, though they might not look it. The map of Martinez is nine That's Why old is thing. It? It's an out of from when some design studio people tried to spruce I'll the need place a map. up four or five years ago. The place does not look like a They didn't get that far. For some reason. A shame the project never got going. It would be nice if someone fixed Martinez up. All I always good buy to it. be informed of your surroundings. Ah uh, yeah, yeah, I was just thinking about that. The plaque on the shelf reads, Biographies of Famous People. You okay, so now I need this particular book. A sulfur-crested cockatoo sits on the cover, its beak slightly open. It looks as if the bird is calling out the book title. Turns out that there are so many different cockatoo species. They all have behavioral and they, problems. You don't have behavioral problems. That's it's a must-have if you own a cockatoo. I've heard they're quite capricious. Medium. I mean, I can just buy it. Oh, a nature enthusiast. Good. The worn map features the patchwork grid of the streets of Martinez. With direction, path, your finger the moves through the ow, various streets. Ow, my across knee. route, finally. Coming to a halt on the spot where you are. For more detailed view of the map. Yay, map. A cockatoo is a parrot with an own. This book talks about the delicate nature of what two. What problems where do to they have? Begin. All cockatoos are known for their needy natures, requiring attention Let's for at talk. least two full hours a day. They love to talk and have been described as lovable clowns who just don't know how to wrap up. Pet owners also report moodiness, loudness, and hostility as recurring issues. That's it is not bad. recommended to get a cockatoo if you're not able to cook them food every day and give them the full care that they need. These birds will never understand that you have your right. Cockatoos good. are magnificent creatures. They love to perform. Cuddle and sh ouch. That not great for the neighbors. What's this a is a yellow-tailed black cockatoo. Its specific name, Sitarchus feneri. Ooh. Perhaps the most impressive of all the species, the endangered major majestic cockatoo, is often described as the most flamboyant. In the words of poet explorer Sir James Fournier, few birds more enliven the monotonous hues of the verdant <laughs> forest. It must be glorious to behold. 
dog. The common name. bang Despite bang. It's banging name. The bang bang cockatoo is actually the shyest of the species, common in almost all Seminese forests, as well as zoos and homes. Or yes, but all those cockatoo species are so different. Which one are you? What if I'm just a fuck up or two? A funeral cockatoo. You're right. You're Setarchus Venerius embodied. This ominous bird belongs on your heraldry. Sweet. I now have done that thing and gained experience. Map! <laughs> Tommy and Hom. Box of sunglasses. Mirror. Policeman cloak. I've done that one. Trash contain. Water door. Cafeteria window. Ice cream maker. Fighters Hardy. Yeah. Uh, Rene? Yeah, we know him. Where's the other one? Um, oh my god, really? Why do you keep fucking up? Come on. Okay, that's easier. Yeah, it's very difficult to figure out where we are. That's the bridge there. Mm. Uh Okay. Done. Got an extra one. Yeah. Woo. I guess I gave me the XP. Yeah, 65. Okay. New, 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 new. Oh, wait, this way moves. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the visual things. Oh, I don't think I've been up here. Whoa. What have we here? The bridge? A bridge with loose nails and rot-infested wood that creaks in the wind. A construction code violation if there ever was one. So we've got a construction sure. code. They never cleaned up the wall damage. The rest of Relasha looks better, though. Oh, the bridge is fine enough. Is. Locals use it all the time, after all. I don't think I ever came up here the first time. Yeah, no, I definitely didn't. <gasps> what is that? Plastic tear. Okay. The round about north. Heaps of apartments. What's this? Oh, we're going around all the way around here. There's so much. Oh. This is a wall on the side of an apartment building. Why am I looking at a wall? You have no clue. So <laughs> many walls all over Mott. Nice. Ooh. Are you trying to sneak up on me? Logic error. She's, <laughs> She's not sleeping. sleeping. Right. Pips come to take me out. Trying to snuff me out. Are you sleeping? Don't get fucking clever with me. <laughs> what? What just happened? Where did this go? Oh, I don't know. Garden hose. Ah, interesting. Splattering of bullet holes. Ah. 
so hat. Oh, I can put on my hat. Yes. Just a closed door. But you look at it suspiciously. This must be it. The basement door is weather-worn. The copper nails holding the up. That's probably the door I've had mentioned. Okay, well. There must be another way into the building. Jesus Christ, why was that so loud? Fucking hell. Jeez Louise, I don't know why that was so loud. Plus one suggestion, minus one half light. I don't know what half light is. Yeah, you better keep walking. Did she spill the paint? I don't know. There's more construction here. Recently painted. L for residents of Rue something or other. A striking woman leans Noice. against the cabin top of her sailing boat, Interesting. smiling as you approach. Her green raincoat glistens with droplets. A silk scarf is tied around. Good afternoon, officers. I'm Joyce. Joyce L. Messier. I represent the board of Wild Pines, the owners of the harbour. You gentlemen must be from the RCM. What does L stand for? My maiden name. Hmm. What we'll goes away? Honestly, I've said it to every drunk in town, and you're the first one who's responded. Relax. She meant it in jest. Shake I'm glad to see you here. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM? That is good to hear, madame. My colleague will take the lead on this interview. I should let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical episode. An unusual. Very medical unusual. Episode. But I can assure you of his ultimate competency. Oh yeah, I'm very, very competent. There's a trace of irony in his voice. Mischief even. Interesting. The How interesting. I wish you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation. You're yes, on the boat. Not a lot of, of people on boats. There are. We're on an archipelago. How else are you supposed to get around? There is a pinch of defensiveness in her voice, but it is playful. <laughs> Wait, we're on yes, an archipelago? We are. we are on Le Caillou. I haven't seen anyone else sail a boat. I haven't seen anyone else drive a souped up Coupri Kenema motor carriage either. Actually, that motor carriage has been specially issued to serve as a patrol and pursuit vehicle. It's for crossing long distances in the Greater Ravachol Industrial Harbour. Yeah, bitch. Neither is this. A toy, I mean. It's a machine for crossing long distances in the Bay of Ravachol, between the city and the islands. You need to make this lady admit she's only riding around on this boat because she's rich. Why? Why what? Stop thinking. Take her down. Have it your way. Does she have an a boat? No, it is called Cordelati 19 because that's the type of sloop it is. It's a okay. pleasure craft, a 19 pacer. It also happens to be rated for Category 1 racing. Though these days I mainly use it for business. How'd you My like sloop, it? sloop, I like it a lot. It's the eel's hips, baby. Eel's hips. I'm enjoying this part of the interview. It has so little to do with the murder we investigated. I really do. The lieutenant thinks. Is she thrown off yet? He's looking at the woman, assessing her. Do you have a license? I assure you, I'm a highly. The crowns of her teeth are porcelain. Qualified pleasure craft operator. 
So charming. Can I see I just it? renewed its safety inspection last month, officers. It is completely seaworthy. In fact, it's taken part in not one, but two insulindic regattas. Even finished once. What happened the other time? The other time, I would have finished the race were it not for an urgent work matter. Much I still need to see a license. Sure, sure I do, I police. It is a little known fact among those who police that the Wayfarer Act specifically denies the RCM the authority to demand anyone's operator license. <laughs> How little I was is it? just being polite. Even school children know the Wayfarer Act. Okay. About the boat. I think I have a boat Good. handle on the boat thing. <laughs> what, what do you what do. plants do? I'm afraid I don't speak for Wild Pines as a whole. It, it's a giant undertaking. There okay. was a touch of discomfort there. She wants to merely represent. Okay. So what the do Pines they do? core competency is logistics. Container shipping, freight, that sort of thing. See those airships there, linking? Those are the shipping side of things. The shipping of the and ships. And that is the terminal. Another subdivision deals with energy. Or the Wild Pines group is one of the original Revisholian Indo tribes. Companies awarded royal monopolies by Why, good company. You. How much money? I'm not at liberty to discuss the company balance sheet, but I can tell you that last year the company booked more than 20 billion real in 20 revenue. Billion. A billion? Wow. 20 billion is a large number. But the conglomerate employs 72,000. A conglomerate okay. the size of the wild pines is like a shark. If it stops moving, okay, but where do they come from? There's an exploration and cargo fleet. Centuries of care, deliberation, and madness have gone into this endeavor. Vessels pass through the great unrest to re emerge. And why they aside from here? being the terminal's legal owners, who are responsible for moving 8% of the world's cargo. That's quite the endeavor. There are no minor cogs in the system. Each terminal must be accounted for, lest the entire... With your help, hopefully, says her warm tone. What about the strike? Everything. Right up to, but not including, trade secrets. What's your I believe role? the official title is Senior Labor Negotiator. In practice, I'm a grocery clerk. I relay the union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines' counteroffer. And how are the talks going? They're not. That's the problem. The union stopped all negotiations a week ago. After that awful lynching took... Now they won't even let me into the harbour. There's a 2 meter 20 racist behemoth blocking the gates. How the talks going before the lynching? Let's say I was not making the kind of progress... And when did you first arrive? I arrived three weeks ago. Yes, in the middle of February. The bay was still partially frozen then. I prefer to do these things. But the strike began in December. I wasn't the original negotiator here. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, the union boss. Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont despite concessions he'd. This isn't the first time the union has gone on strike? Heavens no. There have been two prior strikes. Both times the union won significant concessions, including overtime pay and a medical plan. This time their demands are more. I guess you could say aggressive. Ludicrous, even. It's meant. What happened to Gomont? Mr. Clare told him to have fuck off, midget. <laughs> Gomont is short of stature, you see. Okay yes. then. Keep in mind, this is a negotiator Mr. Clare has worked with before, and who was more than fair with him. What are there are leaflets everywhere and banners. Every worker, a member of the board. Most of the workers probably don't know what that means. I don't know what to think about that. Fortunately, they explained it. Every time the Wild Pines group makes a decision about any... Just so you understand, this is but one of 22 terminals owned by Wild Pines. Essentially, hmm. not only are they kings of the company, they are also kings of the 72,000 employees of Wild Pines group. What are you going to sure. do? Naturally, I assume that was just their opening position. A hard-nosed tactic with a side of mockery. And now... People are getting lynched, I hear. Excuse me, from whom did you hear about this lynching? I first heard it from the boyer at the gates. The one whose very name advertises his aversion to work. 
I think he said it was call me manana at the gates this checks out scabs at the, the gates. scabs you mean the huddled masses of jamrock come to plead for work where if they were organized by wild pines or its affiliates then it would be it's implied she's open to discussing this matter with you at a later Thanks, occasion Thanks, rhetoric what do you think Everett of that claire is a man of the utmost integrity if you can say one thing about him it's that he always puts the interests of the workers first really of course not Everard is fantastically corrupt i imagine he has a thick viscous goo where you and i have blood Sounds he is the right. most corrupt individual i have ever seen and i deal with men like him for a living if there is anyone more venal more irredeemably nepotistic then it's his twin brother edgar uh, have you I've seen about him, him? No. Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for that lazy eye. He also talks exactly like Everard does. And when one's term as foreman is up, the other takes over. It's how they circumvent the term limits, you see, with a funny little switcheroo. While in office, they've embezzled God knows how much of their workers' dues. What about the union itself? The Daybarders Union was once a perfectly normal institution. Twenty years ago, anyway. It must organize labor at its best, as they say. Then something happened in the- A mob. The Debardeurs are a crime syndicate. Said it- Refreshingly honest, officer. The company has tried appeasing in the past, but I'm afraid our concessions have only emboldened ev- And your opinion, detective? If I may ask? I'm a curious and talkative person, you see. Would you say the Debardeurs union is- A uh, socialist mob. Thank you for being candid. Sadly, Wild Pines have cooperated with what amounts to a crime syndicate for two decades. However much you feed the wolf, the wolf always hungers. You said something I'm about glad elections. you asked. There was a woman, the previous forewoman of the Interesting. union. Interesting. She disappeared. Disappeared? Yes. On the last day of the local chapter elections, her daughter phoned in and said she wasn't running anymore or coming to work. Ever. End of story. Some kind of extortion. Indeed. The company suspects foul. P the point of the presentation is these kinds of things happen. Thank you for your concern, ma'am. We'll be. Of course. How else can I help? I've talked you to you. have. And how, how did you did like, you like Mr. Finally. Time to choose sides. Yeah. <laughs> It's not important if I liked him. I was doing my job. Of course, detective. The RCM does not pick sides in this. Of course. And I don't expect you to share anything he told you corrupt with me. Worm. I'm not a corrupt worm myself. How could I stop you? <laughs> Are we not human? Are Intellectually speaking, it would be quite interesting to tell her she'll like you for it. Helping me oh. find my gun. That's the lieutenant looks at you. He's able to contain the anger and some unconventional police officers sometimes lose their guns. They then go around and tell people about this to gauge their reactions. It's all part of detecting. Incredible. Simply incredible. And how is it going? Has this detecting produced a gun? He says it's almost ready to Did be found soon. Well, and it should be any day now. Unless, of course, he's lying to you. <laughs> anyway, was there anything else you've... Of course, detective. Should something... Until then, is there anything I can help you with? Do you know something about That's tattoos? That's who was killed. I'm afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. How is you looking at the photo tied Better to the lynching? Better not tie the fourth day to the bat's day on this. I hope... She wants... To answer the question. Okay, what Quite can you a tell few me? things, I'm afraid. The information I'm to share with you includes sensitive trade secrets. For the sake of my employer, I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. Of course, ma'am. We should have introduced ourselves. And this is my colleague from Prison 41, Detective Dubois. I'm afraid Harry doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope my... Oh, and what happened to yours, Detective? Awkwardness washes over the conversation. The woman doesn't like this turn of event. I see. 
So, are you saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? I could have eaten it for all I know. Uh, yes. I can't hear you, darling. Speak up. Oh, dear. <sighs> she must have been suspected. As I said, ma'am, his technique may be very unconventional, but he is an officer of the RCM. Of course, I sympathize. But I'm afraid I simply can't share. She's a professional negotiator. She should be open to some sort of mutually beneficial arrangement. Hmm, I can try. She's a negotiator. Just float a favor at her. Insinuate. I will be frank with you. If I'm going to break protocol, I need to be able to justify it to my superiors. They're going. You're in. But expect her to. Reports from inside Terminal B suggest it's a hub for the local drug trade. This is an open secret in Martinez. The Union controls the terminal, so it goes. They're profiting from this trade. The company has tried looking into this matter before, to no avail. Perhaps someone with your authority and. Re or you can recover your badge. Though, if I may be blunt with you. Detective, a word in private before we continue. Oh. Honestly, I was expecting you to use your unorthodox technique to keep her off balance, and you know, not volunteer us to be her henchman. Well, this henchman? woman is running circles around us. She might have known about your misplaced badge all along, or she's simply an adept improviser. Either way, we- He doesn't let it show, but there is a limit to how much the consequences of your unprofessional behavior can cost the investigation. Oh. Maybe this is all her plan. She might have heard about you. No. If there is reasonable suspicion, we must investigate. Otherwise, she could claim we are siding with the Union. What I propose is, we ask her, then we investigate. Briefly. But do not share the outcome of this investigation with her. We tell her it's done, and demand for her information on the Linji. Okay, find my guy. Oh! Yes? Damn it! I misclicked again! Uh, why? Cha. <laughs> Fucking hate it when that happens. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Not an umbrella. All around you, rain keeps falling down. On the wooden boards she's standing on, and on the water around you. <laughs> the rain is freezing. Sadly, I need this one myself. It's hydrophobic, repels water. Nice. What I can do for you is answer some questions. Nothing like talking to pass. It's quite straightforward. Someone is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients for meth and dextroamphetamine, GBL, and various synthetic psychedelics. Honestly, it might be quicker to say what you... Yes. After they clear the terminal, we lose track. The mm. actual production is... Wild Pine seems to be well apprised of the local drug trade, ma'am. Do you mean... We're in logistics. It's our business to know. And no. As far as the company knows, the union does not produce it. They transport mm. the ingredients for a cut. You want yes, us to investigate. but you won't get anything out of Everart and the dock workers' union. Still... Every chain has its weak link. The handoff. Okay. The motor lorries at the roundabout. The lorry. Precisely. Someone needs to move the ingredients from the harbor into the city. Once they reach Jamrock, they're distributed. How convenient that they're stranded like <laughs> Perhaps you've noticed that a number of lorries are tangled in a traffic jam at the roundabout just now. Interview the drivers who are still hanging about. One you of them might be waiting. Drugs. Her irises are light green. I'll be explicit. If you find this driver, I... Uncovering Union secrets could also give you an upper hand when dealing with them. Why didn't you come to us earlier? On more than one occasion, 
Apparently they We know the company has launched its own probe into the Union's alleged involvement. We also know it's come up empty. It's not just the RCN. No one's been able to find any hard evidence. Well, here's your chance, officers. No. We asked East Motor Track to raise the drawbridge. The road company is a partner of one of our subsidies. This is a limited time opportunity. Once the complaint has been processed by the trade, thousands of liters of raw ingredients will pour onto the well, hell off. at least. What is that, Lieutenant? Why I had to call East Motor Track and beg them to open the drawbridge for me. I'd wonder since I first drove in on my motor carriage. I am sorry for the inconvenience, Lieutenant Kitsuragi. But we need them what trapped here. This is have. a unique... How do you think they're financing this strike? There are thousands of unpaid dock workers going strong for the fourth month straight. There was a shakedown of local businesses preceding... With all due respect to these desert cacti, the contents of a few cash registers cannot provide for 2,000... Precisely. Smuggled out of that very gate at night, most likely. Then loaded onto lorries and driven to Jamrock. You simply need to find one drop the two might or not though if you have as eager as I am to share it lieutenant once the job is done yes fine excellent according to my reports there are at least three it may I've come to nothing to most or of them. it may just blow the case wide open I can keep the drawbridge up for a few more days in the meantime okay. let me know if there's any other way I may be of assistance of course, detect. Yeah, I didn't even know she was there. A sturdy metal door guards the southwest entrance to the. No. The door rattles against your. No. The door rattles again, but this. Stop banging on the door! I'm not letting any more strangers inside. Who am I speaking to? Who are you? From within comes the faint sound of a brooms. Ha! The police! Everyone knows the police don't come round here. I'm not joking. No. I already... T Go check the backyard door. Maybe backyard door? There must be another entrance to the... Madam, I assure you, we are real police officers. There is no reply. Ah, sadness. The streets will flow red once more. A great torrent rushing down Rue de Esperance. You wait and see. The streets will not flow red with anything. I'm Cindy the fucking skull. <laughs> what else do you want to know? Date of birth, blood type, the last time I was tested for hep C. I just want to know your name. And here I was trying to be polite. Just can't win with you pigs. A brush, an artist, the red splatter is. The hey, lieutenant is desperately searching for another. And hatred, disgust, it's difficult to tell which of the two the woman on the boat. That a Zon her. Zon. Someone's got to keep an eye on her. Okay. Ozon is an archipelago, two days travel away from Rivershaw. It's okay. moneyed res- On a Joyce. first name basis with her, are we? Piggy's moving up in the world. Well, Have negativity. you got a crush on her, aching for an opportunity to defend her honor? Can't what are you, you doing? tell? I'm painting a beautiful. I haven't really started it yet. I'm waiting for the right words. So you don't know what to write? Have you ever tried your hand at graffiti? Oh, when faced with a blank wall, most people write unimaginative stuff, like pigs go home and Mono is here. We rarely see pigs round here, though. Just union cads. And my name's not Mona, so... She wants it to be something true and total. Why are you committed to defacing this the building? This place is severely lacking in havoc. Not even the occasional trash can fire to break up the tedium. I thought I'd mix it up, you know. Summon the forces of crime and social chaos. I have yeah. an opinion. Keep doing it. Thanks. I'm sure the ins She means the op you've lessened her desire to deface the building. Yeah, <laughs> good. Do you know anything about I the ain't recent no murder? Snitch, Pigstein. 
go forth and forage in someone else's shit. No shortage of... Actually, there is a shortage of people who talk to us in a normal, calm, informative manner. We weren't put on this earth to make your life pleasant, fucko. What about the elephant? What do I care about some fucking tin eggshells? Isn't it us? Ugh, all right, sad piggy. I'll give you this one. I saw a little girl in the fishing village running around with military grade handwear. Look cute as hell. If you haven't been there, the village is a shithole down the coast from the main plaza. Have a good time. <laughs> no, no, that's all the snitching Cindy the... I have a weakness for animals. It's the animal thing again. Damn it. Or a weakness for police officers, miss. Thank you either way. Watch your Catch back, you later. Ungulate. You've got ungulate. eyes on you. That's like a deer. I know. I would love to talk to them. You see a young man on a balcony, nursing a cigarette. Not looking for any trouble, officer. Trouble's on you. Just want to know what's going on. I don't want on. to be seen talking to the gendarmerie, if that's okay. I just want to finish my cigarette. Don't let him go. This could be your witness. The balcony. Really Is it talk really to that important? Like a nervous cat. He keeps... All right, but make it quick. Once I finish this cigarette, I have to run. You tell me anything I can about tell that you finally got him down. Thank you. It was quite a disturbing sight, even by Martinez's standards. What were you doing? Oh. You already asked me that, didn't you? Wait. Is someone else investigating the lynching? Did no, I? not you. Some more muscular type. And when did you speak to this more muscular gentleman? Last week? I don't know. Look. You didn't answer the question. <sighs> I had a friend over. It was my Sunday friend. My Sunday friend. A Sunday friend. He doesn't reply. Gesturing. Can you tell me my your name? name? My name Martin, is Martin, Martin Martinez. That's definitely not his real name. No, it's of not course not. Could you please lower your voice? We'll talk no. later. We won't. Uh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really need to get going. Suggestion. This isn't the place or time for questions. Who knows who might be watching from the distance? Hit for a moment. Else? The man on the balcony seems almost vulnerable. Something moves in the depths of his feline eyes. Why have you got feline eyes? He's a human, not a cat. A hint of understanding. I am sorry, but I really don't have the information you're looking for. But, hold on. What's that? For a split second, his hand... It's a sign. Good luck with the investigation. A stone placed right next to the front door. Bye, Mr. Man. He's gone. No point in running. Tenements like these often have multiple exits. If he doesn't want to talk to us, then so he could up. be a witness. Him or his Sunday friend. He did leave us a sign. Did you see that? He won if we find a way inside the building. Great. A stone, like any other. Turn There's it over. A key beneath it. Rusty. This must be for the front door. Pity doesn't have the apartment number on it. The we'll just have to go in and see. Yay! Oh, that's the balcony. <gasps> Yay! Ooh. Logic. Shoes come in three different sizes. Ah. 
alcohol. Let's get to the balcony, there's stuff up there. Someone is watching. Okay. Nothing for you here right now. It's just a door. Rosemary thyme and a cactus. Very nice. 28. A door to be remembered. Okay, apparently I still can't go in there. Ooh, a pot. Yay, money. Money, money, money. Boots. That isn't star. just a five-pointed star. It's an inverted white ah. pentagram cradled in a wreath. I get my armistice handy, detective. He doesn't actually reach for his gun. The That's star exactly. and antlers was developed in the sixth decade of the last star century and, and quickly That's adopted the one by Mezzo. And the, even today, half a century after, the star and nothing at all yet. Interesting. This door has been closed with a padlock. A chalk drawn number, no reply. It's a solid lump of metal, but the shackle is deeply Ooh, good. Better cutters. without those cutters. You won't get very far otherwise. <laughs> this door has been closed with a padlock. The shackle snaps Yay. like after you, detect. What is that? A plaster cast bust depicts Graz Mazov, nom de gear. Was the white star, bust? the photos on the wall. I think we have broken into the apartment of a young communard. How? A bullet! And a lounge jacket, very nice. You hear someone walking around inside, rearranging the furniture. The walking stops abruptly. You can feel tension on the other side. Sounded like a woman. A woman's, a woman's shoes. shoes. A poor communard from the looks of it. The Do I have to open the door? Yes. Do you have a warrant? Let's go. We don't have a reason. It's generally easier to do things if you have literally any reason. Okay. Yeah, mystery. Oh yeah, interrogate those. I have to try and uh, interrogate the officers. Don't let me forget that, guys. Firing rich. Give me a moment. The cold never does any good for my bronchitis. <laughs> Should I call I'm the doctor? Fine. Fine. You're still worried. Now. What do you- She's the cleaning lady. She knows the floor plan and- Yes, yes. I know who you mean. Somewhere in the building, a child's- What's he in trouble for? I just want to talk to him. Talk? <laughs> what was so funny? He lives upstairs in room 28. 28. Go to the balcony. Thank you. We should go check out his apartment on the balcony. I have a few questions. Ask away, policeman. People come and go. They probably just moved. 
or died. It is an no one ten. lives there. It's impossible. I would know if someone had moved in. Maybe it's those countercultural people again. Breaking into a house like it's a public space. Great. Young people. They're worse than rats. Oh, that one is a, a scientist. scientist. A future scholar. I think he studies astro astrology. Something to do with all those <laughs> stars around his door. He asked me to leave his drawings up on the wall. Oh, yeah, similar a communism. Similar what now? Communism. Ah. All I know about politics. What can you tell me about the Cindy? Artist? Nothing I can do about her, I'm afraid. <laughs> she ruins the walls. She leaves an old lady to her bed. She mumbles some kind of a response. Who are you? I know one. If you can call it living. Right next to the it's very bigger than a closet. But I don't complain. And all she gets, too. The coastal wind beats down hard on the coal room door. She hasn't spoken to anyone for a while. Even... Even her sentences feel rusty. Four clothes by Mini Martha names real A shift in temperature. The air chills around you. A former architect stands before a slice of window. A room plan in her hand. Mm. A cold wave has made the air in the building is red from the cold. She's breathing on her fingers, clasping the plan. Tra Faint pencil lines on paper depict the same place, but a missing eastern wall connects the room with the neighboring apartment. Mm -hmm. Ideas for a room. It's clean and empty, with new tapestry embellished. She had an eye for beauty. Shiver. <laughs> Days of Columbus, April. Okay. That's the other balcony. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna go talk to this woman before. Oh, wait, did I check in there? I did not. It's God. You hear someone walking around. Excuse. You have plenty of reason to enter. Uh, I don't need a warrant if I speak. Oh, come on. Break in. Well, that was smart. Uh, let's get back. Hey, hamster. Shoes. Indirect modes of taxation. <laughs> How you doing? You should take it. Oh. Satisfied? My name is Marielle Charpentier and I'm an agent with Martinez Realty Associates. I am not breaking in as I have every right to be here. The keys, see? Her voice is really cheerful, despite her obviously hating you. Do you want to see my ID as well? You can't legally ask for it, but why not? Want to see my residence permit too? I just need to ask Very well, questions. but please make it quick. I need to be back in La Delta in an hour. Gary! Hi, everybody! Uh, oh, that's done another that? huge mess. The former tenant owes us three. How are you doing? Rent. Three. We closed the apartment and planned on auctioning off the valuables, but, and again, I have no idea how stupid mistakes like this can even happen. But Ron, when he came door. to close the door, Interesting. didn't close the neighboring door. And there's a hole in the wall. A what hole were you in playing, Gary? Can you believe hey, it? Thank you and for the follow. The ran off with his My stuff. Milo? He's gone. The M money's Milo? gone. M Just M like Milo? that. The sum must have been puny. <laughs> oh, it irks her. The incompetence. The incompetence. Mimilo. Was that the third one I said? <laughs> my money has also disappeared. Well, it does not disappear from my hands. 
No, so what happened don't with the wall? ask me what happened with the wall. Both apartments are now unrentable. Both. I played Mimi and then Low. Mimi Low. Xenonauts 2, and our butts were thoroughly kicked by Schmalians. Alien Schmalians! <laughs> what are you doing here? I need to get it ready for the next lease, but as you can see, the previous tenant completely He's reprehensible. It was some here. kind of a moribund old nice. man who used to be a business owner. You'd think they'd make rent. A sudden serious look crosses her face. But that was months ago. <sighs> That's of cool. Course. Thank you. She's been waiting for you to leave. Oh, I've not been doing drugs, don't you worry. I got shoes. Yes. And a postcard. For some reason. What is this? Investigate this. Report back to the cleaning lady. Okay, I will. I love XP. Do, 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 do. Gary killed my heroic soldier. No, I didn't. Give me a moment. Real estate agent. I see. I hope some good people are finally going to move in. This place needs them. <laughs> the apartment building is slow change. Imperceptibly slow. An alien shot them over 500 meters through a building. I don't know if that sounds like yours. Oh, I do like wizards. <laughs> people like that in general. They have a lot to tell us about our fate. She means clairvoyance. clairvoyance. Okay, thanks. Bye. Let's get to this balcony first. I wish for things. Ruination has come. Ah! The broken arches betray the once grand history of this building. Form it towered guess. over the harbour. A great force from the northeast guess. fired into Guessing. the city. Heavy artillery shell. The tenement acted as a defensive wall against the worst of the shelling. Because Those the arches acted as only three stories stand where nine to twelve once did. Whoa. Restoration has fallen. That was big. Underwater, iron helmets have sunk deep into the sand and the mud. Helmets of soldiers and their clavicles too. And clavicles. The walls <laughs> of the Martinez Inlet <laughs> roll over the fallen remains of the building. What didn't fall into the ocean was used as scrap. What wasn't used as scrap <laughs> was thrown into the thrown ocean. Into a fleet, the combined armies of Occident, and they massed airships further down in the bay. Many are still there to this day. Do you know who shelled the city? The coalition, but that was a long time ago. He does not like talking politics of this. Okay, well, <laughs> whatever. Do, 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 do. Hello, lady. I told you I'd get to make my way up here. Ooh, the piggies have learned how to saunter up staircases. I didn't think you could do that with hooves, but here you are. That's right, yeah, we've evolved. Yeah, I can see that. That smell coming from her paint bucket. It's not paint, it's heavy fuel oil. Red dyed heavy fuel oil intended for exclusive use in government vehicles, to be precise. What did you think I was using, aquarelles? Sucked it out of a cop's fuel tank myself. Back in Jamrock. <laughs> she really did it. She's proud of it too. Fumes are bad for you. Something to think about next time you're driving around in your pretty little piggy carriage. Okay. The door is locked. You can't get in. Chair is new. Someone lives back there. Okay. Ah! Well, apparently Kim made it in there. He just phases through walls now. Holy crap, what is in here? This is the fuel thing? Cindy? Dunno. The rats of the city. Nice. Ooh, pants. Why is there stuff everywhere? There's just stuff everywhere. Oh, 
Hello again, officers. Is Ooh. that yours? Not only have you found my- She does have eyes that seem to be Rats smeared everywhere. with coal. You're mine. Yes. I keep hoping a shaft will collapse on me. <laughs> no. But somehow, it never happens. Do you have a does real home? Anyone if there's pain about any particular home she's lost, it doesn't have to do anything at all. It is Disco Elysium. Nothing does. Like me. Right. The inspiration will come to her once hell is set loose on the streets. Shoot, piggy. <sighs> I'm going. I'm going. Don't you worry. Balcony too. No rats allowed. Kind of. This door is made of metal and appears to be number twenty-eight. This is where the cleaning lady said the smoker on the balcony. Let's see if anyone. No one answers. Looks like the young man we are looking for isn't home. I think mm. we should return tomorrow after we have finished with our day's work. How about 9 p.m.? Some good, the smoker mean? on the balcony. This is why we Suddenly, he's a little worried about your memory. Don't worry, it's mostly all still here. <laughs> you, you can remember, remember things. Tomorrow, 9 p.m., right here. Damn. Turns out it's quite tricky finding someone in a big apartment building. Remember, tomorrow, he's probably, he's gone, probably today. gone for today. I was going to say, why can't I go there now? Because it's almost 21 today. I don't know why I can't get in this one. Weird. Let's go see if we can do some... Uh, what's it called? Talking to the truck drivers. I can't believe I missed this place the first time around. I even came like most of the way there. Like I think I, I, can't, I definitely came over here. I just don't think I ever went up. More for me, I guess. There. Working class drunk. You know what this means, right? They sold? Cracked it. All in a good day's work. Wait, what did what I crack? What do you mean, what did I crack? Look at how working class that drunk is. It's the missing yes. husband. And you found him. Didn't she repeatedly tell you her but he is missing? You heard her. The worry in her voice. I'm There's no it. need for champagne when. <laughs> I mean, she is very close. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're right, Excuse I'm a cocky too. I don't know. The most talkative one? No. Nope. What now? The funeral. You truly are one strange cop, aren't you? I God did find damn your husband. It, I already told you. My husband isn't miss and I specifically added that I didn't very well then. Where is he? Excuse me? There's something else hiding in her voice though. A trace of what Right, cause working class women come without Remember, about that what? Never ever say what you were right i do have an alcoholic husband <laughs> although not that one ha ah, blam knew it you told me i did was all right. and he is he's also an alcoholic no he he's missing? not or maybe he is i don't know he's probably in the park or in shambrook somewhere drinking with his friends i haven't seen him for well, to hell with- There. 
She's worried now. I wouldn't be so sure. Man, just to be completely clear, do you want to report it to the police? Report what? He's just out drinking with his friends. I'm sure the police has better things to do than to chase down local goofballs. Yeah, she right. sighs, but... All right, go ahead. Do you have any questions? What does he look like? Not that different from you. <laughs> At least That's one way like... to put it, yes. No offense. What else? He was wearing a dark brown leather jacket with a bright blue inner lining. The lining is hand sewn. It's his cool jacket. God knows it's too cold to run around in this, but he refuses to change. Who cares about the cold when you have your cool jacket? I even tried throwing it away once, but he just dug it out of the bin. Can you believe it? It's that cool. Well, what can you do? I hope that at least that extra lining helps him keep warm at night. She's thinking about him out in the cold, in some park, or... When did you last Yesterday see morning, he went to the library. He went to retrieve my book, and he promised, he promised, he'd walk straight back home. Because we talked about this. We talked about not wandering off again. I, I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do with his addiction just makes me feel weak gone for around 36 hours then damn this is a missing persons case she turns away from you in an attempt to recover I think so I got you this. are going to look for him yes thank you please do even though I'm sure he will return home I'm sure he will too when he does would you let prison 57 Kim Kitsuragi know I will of course officer as I said, it's probably nothing. Thanks, I'll get going. <laughs> that was weird. But then the whole game is slightly weird, so... Right, this guy. But it's not the first one. Still yeah. here. Stuck in this damn jam, my man. What What's do you up? see in his eyes? He seems like a man who knows about oh, drugs. Man. Me and narcotics go way back. <laughs> Had some good times surfing the psychic waves of my own consciousness, you know? But, those days are behind me. There are other addictions in my life now. Why the inquiry, my man? Drug hey man, that's serious criminal talk. Entrapment is a practice whereby- We have a credible lead, sir. Someone on this roundabout is waiting for a bell shipment from the harbor to load it on their lorry and drive it to Jamrock. Not me, man. No way. I don't need any trouble. Shit's bad enough anyway. Gotta go the stuff. Around. Bosses don't look kindly on missing cargo. A rhyme smith? This is quite credible. It look, man, I try to stay away from the criminal underbelly of Revachol. I'm a guest here. It's not a lie. It's something else. Impossible to say <laughs> what at this point. But there's something in him. Some trepidation. 72%. Wait. There's something here. Stored away in some dusty corner. It starts like a mirror's temperature is always zero. It is ice in the veins. It's camera's next Whoa. ray. What else? It is a chalice held out to you in silent, silent communion. communion. That's good. Where gaspingly you partake of a shifting identity Dang, of your own. That's some great shit. You came up with that yourself. I think that might be an actual poet, and I've learned it by no heart. No matter. It's a fine stanza. You're not so bad after all, for a cop. They're more often in the fists than rhymes, see? Let alone honesty in verse. In a small office behind the old military hospital, hunched under the green glow of his desk light, Officer Hans Blau browses through a test print of his Futurist magazine. It's called The Futurist. The typeface on the header. The lieutenant looks at you. Well, you've given me some hope, I guess. You found some common ground with this man. Even impressed him. The next time you look in the mirror, though, remember those words. Empathy, 58%. In his eyes, an half-familiar longing. Flex, it's hard to say. His gaze wandered. The road continues for miles, flowing together with other roads, turning into causeways huh. or bridges, ending Southwest. suddenly in dead ends. 
or ramping up or down highways Where's above the general quarter in the form of to the old, old self, to the farthest Hi, outskirts hungry. of Rivershaw, through the checkered fields of the Kennedy Sea. What's in the southwest? Me. A flinch jolts his frame. The question has touched a nerve. I had some longing. I don't know what to say. Not much anyone can do. I miss my family. They're all I have. My wife, second kid on the way, waiting all the way in Diora. And here I am stuck in this shit so far. Diora of the Seven Seas. It's on the other end of La Caillou, pretty much. On another island called... What's it like? Good. And bad. An ache that brings you joy. I think of them a lot. <sighs> what about... Is that what it is? No. It's scarier than that. You're pursued by a hunter, smelling of apricots and sorrow, and the past. I, I feel for is. you, my friend. It's bad enough to know who you miss. Missing like that doesn't feel like it has much of an upside. Well, you've been but up too hungry, not seen you around in a while. This. It's nice to talk to someone, and I know it wasn't easy to ask. I hope you find your way through your own troubles. Well, for now. Okay, where were these other truck drivers? No. Everything still cool here, officer. You mean these delicious pre-packaged pre table meal kits? Really easy to cook. No hassle. Really cheap too. Awesome. Hey, Tante. Buy some. Try them out. No hassle. There's a little of a hassle here, it appears. A moral hassle. <laughs> What's going no on? No problem here, officer. I get all this from one... Wait. Humanix. Humanitarian aid. What? Look, officer. I'm just <laughs> a retailer. You'd have to talk... Interesting. We'll need more. If we're going to pin this one down, he thinks. Good question. Give you some money. Start with a little compliment, then work your way up from there. <laughs> this Hydrate, thank you, Hungry. Business. Remember. Would you like to support oh, a member of the local Okay. But Inver why, officer? As an investment. An investment? What kind of investment? So cold. <laughs> Is that what they are, huh? The guns. Maybe it's just my arms. Yeah. <laughs> I did go to the gym today, and then I went to the sauna. So I got a bit warm, anyways. So I'm just like trying not to be warm. That's what doing going to the gym does to you. You get really fit. <laughs> I'm a highly experimental human being. I guess being. it can't be any riskier than speculating in exotic derivatives. How much are we talking about here? Ten real. Ten real is a bargain for that kind of investment. You got it, my man. <laughs> nice. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, also, apparently, not a lorry driver we were going to be speaking to. Where is said other lorry drivers? She said there were three. Mm. Nom, 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 hamster. How's it going? Weightlifting stream. No. I don't have any weights. That's why I go to the freaking gym for. 
Uh, right, where's the other guys then? Hmm. So we've got one there. Is there somewhere I've not been able to go? If you want her attention, you may need to be more. Where am I? <laughs> Who are you? The smile on her face has disappeared, replaced by the weary aspect of her corpse. <laughs> oh, never that. mind. I remember now. I'm still stuck in that traffic jam in the 50s. What's bad about the, the 50s? Have small jewels and everything is made out of plastic. Why do you need plastic when you can make the world out of amber? When else Back would you in be? Nefka, during the time of the revolution. Okay. Until you came along, that is. I have Why questions. Why not, Harry It's not like I have a... There's something off about this woman. Tell her to show you the soles of her boots. Maybe she was at the hanging, somehow. Uh... What are you hauling? Diamonds. Of really? course not. Whatever stupid things they put in the lorry, I imagine. So you I don't know what you're holding. Myself with other she says that as if something narcotic is the real reason. What if the cargo's contraband? contraband? Loman? What? Do you want to take an old woman in? Be my guest. Bad hand. Hermenegildos' bad hand strangled 300 people. What can oh. I say? Some people she's just away. a distracted old woman. So he doesn't think she You hear that, old man? I don't think your partner likes you spending too much time with me. She's your oh, lorry? Don't worry about me. I'm one of the best Lomonosov's land with a A terrible cold comes over her. Re the Transcatholia Magistral. You for one age. <laughs> I'm something of an expert like you. Yeah. Oh you're right, Loman. I'm the one who should take my health more. A correct appraisal. You're quite shabby. Is that all you woke me up to say? What's now the what do you want with an old woman's boots, Sheriff? Same point. I'm She's starting to think you should let me get back to Gabriel Buenguerro. She's wearing sturdy worker's boots made of black. Just before Gabriel, there was the coronation of Franco Negro. Now, there w Moreover, the boots were size 37. Tiny. There are too many discrepancies in all this. Another discrepancy, although not boot related, <laughs> is the coronation of his innocence, Franco Negro. It was. And then perhaps it was another. I don't know what she's on about. Came and wake me. As she says, Carnival, she gestures. I could have told you that from just looking at them. And size is 30. The feet of a little girl. They fit well on the pedals. You know about drugs? What do I need drugs for, Loman? What I see, what I feel, the great adversary, no mm. drugs can compare. No then what, what gonna were get. you getting at? You've been smuggling. Why I want to do that? The thrill of the Long, criminal lifestyle? What in the name of God are you talking about? Are Maybe? you smuggling? Probably not. Makes no difference to me either way. Just this month, I made half of those trips from Saramiriza to Grad. The U for one a What do you think? It's diamonds, know. Loman, obviously. Uh, who Easy. Think? He's the skinny man who thinks he's a poet. Never trust a poet. Also, he's the only one I can also, see. <laughs> he's the only one I can see from here. That's correct. There is no visibility of any time. Are diamonds. good for you, Loman. You should. Where do you want me to go? This isn't so bad. I, or I can just relax. I think we're done here, no? Yes, go. So there's only two. So where's the third person? Look at this, three, one, three, five. I 
don't even know where the potential other lorry driver is. Yeah, let's go back to that place. Speak to the smoker guy. Oops. Oh no, I can get this way. I like how time is important to a certain degree. And like the passage of time, because there's certain stuff I have to do Wednesday. You guys are still here. You're just always here, aren't you? To be no one answers. We should return tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ah, tomorrow. But I really thought. Oh, wait, can I put a bullet? I thought I picked up a bullet. Definitely picked up a bullet at some point. You've got one bullet. Yeah, there you go. Okay, fine. It's very upsetting. It just said sometime after 21, so I was like, oh, does that actually let me do it today? No. It doesn't. Okay. I really wanted to find the th last lorry driver, but I don't know where he is. Do you know where the last lorry driver is? Now it's turning into. Are you going to see Oppenheimer or Barbie by any chance? No, I'm going to see neither of them. Sorry to disappoint. Are you a lorry driver? Looking for something odd? You're a lorry what? man. They're shit, man. I don't let anything pollute me. You know where that shit comes from? Sarah Miridza. They know they can't beat us in a fair fight. So they have to get us to weaken ourselves somehow. It's racial you're not, not in, not out. So you're telling us that you don't know. I don't know shit. <laughs> if I did, I wouldn't tell you. What, what do you, you think? I can't leave the Lorient guarded. Stuff's been getting looted lately. It's those little kips sneaking on that. There was a bunch of spilled boxes in the back of a big lorry nearby. Trader does open. Yeah, I knew that guy. He was an honest driver who loved this country. We were having a good debate about genetics at the Wheeling in Rags when some kip boys smashed his lock and took damn near everything since he left. I haven't had any. If they were getting drunk inside the Whirling in Rags, how could they know who broke into the lock? What? Aren't we allowed to say that he's a kips who do all the stealing around here? That's not rota science, man. <laughs> oh, stretch him. Uh, mm, yeah. Oh, it's a good stretch. Isn't it obvious? Fucking ceiling. That beady eyed South Samaran. <laughs> His little side business is a scam. I wouldn't be surprised if he was peddling drugs as well. That's the one. His tribe are natural liars. It's, <laughs> is your man alright? 100%. 100%. Is a lorry man selling his employer stuff? Broke this. I wouldn't be so sure about it. Not until we've heard. Guess so. I mean, I've now spoken to everybody. Interrogate the drivers about the smuggling. I've definitely spoken to all three of them now. Oh no, it's down here. Further down. Do 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 do. Get out of my way. I need to redeem a stretch when I come on stream before I say hi and pretend they just really have to see me. Uh huh, uh huh. Unless I pick a different stretch, just just for fun, just to mess with your plan. 
everything still cool here drugs i don't unless you're into drugs of course in which case drugs are excellent that's so cool you investigating the local drug trade like some cool narc but i am not a lorry drug who said that <laughs> it's the fat racist right i bet so you admit your no i just said i work harder and he's an asshole i'm realize any can't get out okay maybe i'm a lorry driver too a little but that's not the most important <laughs> thing about me that's my day job this is my dream you forgot exactly. to tell me it's such a small part of my life no that's insane it's the fat hater he's been nothing i told you and what crowd no he wasn't he doesn't want to talk about them he's afraid you know who they Shusha, are please there's bad people doing bad things here here we go there's a tiny bit of truth on the table zoom in it's a she okay the other drivers call her the lady driver mm. you're better off interesting could this driver be connected to the hardy boys i don't know maybe it could be he's not ruling her out i don't shit. know i'm not local all of them I who exactly is talking about this lady driver of yours all of them even the ones who've left all right okay i scored let's cap this off with a purchase uh. you can walk away from him all right let's try the other guy again see if he's got anything to say about old crazy boots Now it's turning into a kind of a snow limbo, man. I don't want to talk about that. Man, I was hoping it isn't going to be her. All I can say is she isn't around here anymore. She isn't some evil drug trafficker. And I don't know where she is. <laughs> you said you didn't know. Now you saying you do. I told you I was hoping it's not her. He still is. Hoping, bah, emotional rhetoric. What's he knew name? something, and he didn't. Thank God, I don't know. People here call her the Lady Driver. She kept a friend, an acquaintance. I don't know. She was the only person in this damn jam I could talk. A youngish woman. Like? What could our hair? Blue and violet. Died. It was violet when she got here. Blue before she went. Then she may have died it again. When did she damn, leave? I don't want to. Please just let it go. We can't just let it go. That's how it always is with you, isn't it? All part of the investigation. The girl's troubled. It won't come to that. We won't pursue. I don't believe you. He says she's, she's got troubled. the darkness in her. That young she shared this with you. Yes. Which is why. Oh I my goodness, the Simus raid with twenty-five people. Hello. I hope you're having fun, enjoying it. We are just messing about in Disco Elysium. I hope you're f having fun. What were you playing today, this fine day? It's not snitching. It's, it's just snitching, a few questions. Man. I know what it is. I'm about to um, finish up relatively soon on this day here, and then I've got to head off because I am going on holiday tomorrow. I have to leave relatively early. Ooh, space engineers. We had a space engineer server for a while. I was told everyone's afraid of I heard of the rumors. I saw the other drivers looking at me strange. We used to have a space engineer server. And They're very difficult too, to keep going. That she's had a violent life. A violent but I wasn't life. afraid of her. More like for her. The this violent life. Well, it looks like it did now. But we didn't talk about that. We talked about life, you know? She talked about her mind. Her mind. The way it worked. The trouble it was. Did she leave her lorry? Go grill someone else with these questions, okay? There are plenty of drivers here who couldn't stay. He's right. There are other options. The race man for one. Mm. The gray-haired woman. Wait, this guy says they're friends. Then push Tommy and it will break his heart and his <gasps> spirit. Now is not the time to focus on feelings. Interesting. You need that info, son.
You're right with others Fine. ratting around. I don't want to be a butcher, and I don't want to be a knight either. I just want to be a person who can sleep at night. A little fame wouldn't. You're not going to put a bullet in your head if you blow it, are you? Because she's on the edge, man. I'll drift Thank for you now. For... <sighs> wow, this makes me feel like I should pick up smoking again. Well, let's see if I can get any further information out of some more people, shall we? Bloody hell. It's just going around in circles. Oh, he's gone! Motherfucker! Where did he go? Oh, everyone's gone now. I guess because it's too late. Let's double check that this lady's gone. Oh no, she's still there. Did pirates destroy no anything today? You called me. Are Can you the you lady? Just call me a lady, Harife. I'm not that either, Harife. I'm only terrifying to small children <laughs> and to those who used to know me. Who is the female I driver? Do I look like I speak? Because Why are you they can scary? no longer recognize the birds, the big ones, uh -huh. the traps. There's in the middle of this town, there's a ghost. You feel very cold suddenly. Oh no. As if in the background, a quiet song seeps from her cabin into. Oh, Sim. Oh, Sim. I don't know what that means. But yeah, so we're just trying to figure out who's hauling drugs for a lady because she wants us to tell her. So that she can then have Alone stuck in the traffic. Ugh. She can then have a uh, information to give to us, which then allows us to possibly solve a murder. It's very, very, very roundy roundy type situation going on. Um, but we're just about to finish up this day, I think, because everyone's gone inside because it's ten o'clock and really cold. Oh look, these guys are still in here. Oh look, everyone's in here. <gasps> This is great. Oh, but I can't talk to anybody. That is not great. Okay, fine. Where holiday at? Well, I'm going uh, back to where I grew up, so I'm going back to my parents and um, various uh, places in and around. I've got to talk to him about stuff. Isn't this how we end? Yes. No. How do I end the day? And talk to her. Yeah, that's definitely where I'm going. No. Down south. Uh... Oh. Yes. No. Do I not have to see you on the balcony? Isn't that what usually happens? Mirror impossible yeah no oh oh he's gone oh sadness the bed is still cold from the broken window go to sleep the bed is still cold from the wind blowing in from the broken window Try hard to fall asleep. This is only the second night. I'm actually uh, not doing Here too well. Here we are again, my broken bird. The waves are coming, carrying you this. away. But you can't go. No. <laughs> what a complete and utter tornado sight. Half aware of yourself. Oh, look, there's a bed in there. You're not cooperating, brother man. This is, this is it's your disgusting body. Even through your sleep, you feel a vague discomfort suffusing it. I your feel a vague discomfort your from your voice. Unpleasantly tender. No bad guy. You That's wish nice. you could curl up a fetal into ball. a fetal ball of safety, but you cannot, because of the pain. The pain. That pain in your right side is your enlarged liver, by the way. As for your uh, kidneys, you've really been compounded. I haven't drunk medically. in two days. <laughs> Every cell in your body is moaning in agony, asking, What did we ever do to you? I'm sorry, it's me. No. You're finally thinking about something other than yourself. I Let's just see how with dignity. Far that'll get you. 
There's no dignity I don't here. Like this brain either. Only reflections of your body. The voice mass. gets flashes to me. of the day. You keep coming back to yourself in the mirror, but why? I did go back to, to the admire mirror. all your accomp. You're just stuck here in the half world. Could try looking at other people, really looking. But why I would you sure I like you them. do? At least they're interesting. Each one has a process just like yours. Running in the space, people are beautiful. Statuesque. Statuesque. Parodies and tragedies of themselves. What do you think you're doing right now? Coming to some greater awareness? Look at all these lights blinking in and out of existence. Thoughts! <laughs> just you're pretending just you're asleep. Pretending that let it. But it never seems to let you go, does it? Time to rise and wipe Rock that and shining roll. sweat off as best you can. Gather your bearings. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Open your eyes. Apparently, I sleep very strangely. I get up very slowly. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the expression. Face. Recited the poem, Tommy. <gasps> I could try. I'm still not happy. Ow. It won't come off that easy. Let the bear be. Fight! Fight! We don't care about the stupid expression anyway. Iguanas? Why is everyone still down there from the night before? That's rude. Lady! The door is closed. Still nothing. Why does she never want to speak to me? Oh look, it's Kim. Good morning. Hi. I'm gonna give Can this I to help you. you. Got the twenty ray out. Good. You got the room for the night, but remember. Sweet. Oh look, people I can talk to. Loads of them. Who's this? You look like shit. <laughs> Thank and you. I don't mean that as a metaphor. It's intentional. Like undercover. Well, as far as these guys is go. Oh, come on, Jean. It looks like it's been a rough week on him. It's not just this week. What do you want? There's something about this guy that matches with a face in your head. A similar but different ah. face. You know what it is. It's like the two of you. Do you know me? Oh, I definitely know you from somewhere. Another life. Yes, from another life. A different life. Maybe the life of a police officer belonging to the ranks of the. To what station do you think you would belong in this alternate and totally fictional reality? The 41st. Okay, okay. That's plausible. That's entirely plausible. Now we're really getting somewhere. Somewhere good. Let's talk about the hypothetical station 41 you mentioned. Okay. I'm not busy, you're not busy, let's just play around. Let's be crazy. Let's say you and I are partners. How's that for a thought experiment? Cool I'm sure he's fucking flattered. But Kim is not part of this. The lieutenant is silent. Like partners in crime, no, or? in this thought experiment, we are police officers in the police. Come on, stop it. You have oh, a crime, no, no, no. You see, I enjoy watching other better cops solve crimes. And let me tell you, it's been quite a privilege seeing you work. This isn't helping. Who else is in You're our You're not please? going to believe this, but police officers. Yes, sir. Solving crimes, looking up bad guys, and... And get this, and not getting that drink on at 2 o'clock. 
Wow. Just some regular boring motherfuckers in suits and uniforms. Nothing spectacularly extravagant like you, the far out son of Lang. What? Oh, it's you, you eccentric genius. I mean, with your unorthodox approach to police work, it has to be you. Not even a little bit. It's an urban myth. About an officer who is so far undercover, he can't remember who he is. As I said, just an urban myth. You are not the son of Lang. He's trying to protect you from further rough handling. This okay. Yes, you get the joke. <sighs> Neither can I, partner. Neither. It's a mere second, but it feels like you saw something. A gram of compassion. Do you know a communist joke is any funny if everyone gets it? Uh... Mm -mm. I'm not getting involved. It's not my style, he thinks, glancing at the man in sunglasses and the woman beside him. Oh boy, they're mad at him. No wonder. He just doesn't recognize them. <laughs> About what? You don't look like a cop. You know what you look like? Oh, well, go solve your case then. That would count as trying hard. <laughs> now no. we want some questions? <laughs> Why not? Because it's not my job. Why don't you go and fucking do yours and solve this damn hanging? Actually, I don't want to hear- Come on, Jean. Okay. Safe. Hear that? He wants you <laughs> to say things. Suddenly, out of nowhere, case-related things. So, do you know who hanged him? Not yeah, yet. I can see that. I don't know. It's like you felt it would be intellectually stimulating and would... Oh my god, there's more. You want something more? Don't what is... Hang okay, again. Why not? So, do you know who hanged him? I don't know. Oh my god, there's more. Watch out for yourself. That voice, so very familiar. Did you hear it? Oh really? I wonder where. That's the where you remember me from? Okay then. It's pro Okay. The man with the sunglasses and his hypothetical Station 41. Weird. Right? Kind There's of something <laughs> missing here. Something you can't put our finger on. You know what? Just ask. Yes. Just. <laughs> Again? I keep. I'm going to say no. Just to see what you'll say to that. What'd you say? Okay. okay. Jean. He's okay. I was clearly wrong. He is a firefighter, male nurse. Animal control agent. Something <laughs> Definitely of that a kind. cop. Not a cop. Go on with your cop work. Don't let me st the woman in an RCM patrol officer. I would really prefer not to A patrol officer is the lowest rank in the RCM. Below lieutenant and sergeant. Why do you want to talk I to me? I don't know. I mean, uh, why would I want to talk to you? No, you haven't wronged me. Something changes in her. Okay, fine. Let's talk. Mm. What does one talk about? Where what are you from? precinct? Am I from? Fucking deranged lunatic. You're getting an intellectually unsatisfying vibe from this conversation. May God damn it, you leave her alone. Keep your weird bullshit to yourself and be professional <laughs> for. Can I actually help you with something? Yes, of course. Preposterous. I mean. You would remember if they were, right? Who forgets their <laughs> squad mates? That's not possible. Of course I'm with him. Why do you ask? Well, he's not. He's <laughs> a sack of shit barely kept together by crazy glue. But at least he tries. Unlike Please, uh, let's not turn this into another exchange, okay? <laughs> well... That didn't go very well, did it? I did notice that they were from the, uh, uh, from the police also, though. It's all about money. Okay, fair enough, whatever. And where's her lorry? I'm not sure that's truly accurate. Is 
Yeah, I still don't know where Manana is. This is a bit of a problem. Oh, 85. Do I have a level up point? Whoa, revert. Do I didn't even realize I had one. What do I want to upgrade? There was something that I could upgrade and that I needed to do. Is it suggestion? Oh, I feel like perception was one. Yeah, there's a lot of physical instrument, but I'm not sure that's going to help me much. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh yeah, authority. I desperately need that one, don't I? Maybe I'll do authority to help out no I, neither do I really tend to that's kind of the problem to be honest what is half life present people oh okay endurance apparently increases your health Mesmerized by those machine guns? Pa! They're just arms, mate. Don't you, don't you worry. Should I do endurance or I've already done composure once. Or interfacing. Hmm. Either one was suggestion. We'll do that one. Right. I'm going to save it here. <laughs> no, I know. Because I don't understand what's going on. Martinez, is day three. Okay. I need to figure out what was going on. I need to still do some things. I thought I got to talk to um, Kim each night, but seemingly he didn't want to talk to me one time but who knows if I just did it wrong or whatever but thank you everybody for watching I will be heading off now just got to be finishing up for the day getting things sorted but uh thank you for popping along I hope you enjoyed it thank you for the raids everybody it was good fun let me just do a quick Simon shout out see what comes up How you doing today? Ah, a Stellaris one. I try to become Galactic Emperor. Nice. Instead, Gary's in a federation of all things. <laughs> federation. Come on. <laughs> yes, I won't be streaming over the weekend. My next stream will likely be Tuesday. Well, actually, no. I should be doing Monday. Speaking of. I hope your day is going. Monday evening. Um, might be doing Borderlands three. I think that's what we do. Yep. We shall have to see. Oh my goodness, you're on time. We should go to bed. Gotta get up early to go uh, drive for two and a half hours. So that'll be fun. But thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you have fun. Uh, I should be back to playing this Disco Elysium, that is, uh, next Friday, which I am enjoying. Um, I think I've had like three sessions and I'm on the third day, I think, now. Something like that. Anyway. I will speak to you all in the next one and hope you have a great evening.